Assalamu alaikum, Oman. This underrated country in the Middle East is one of the best hidden gems on earth, and I'm about to show you why. In this documentary, we're headed to Muscat, the capital city, for an all out food and culture tour like you've never seen before. Arabian food, Pakistani food, even Zanzibari food. You name it, we're diving into every aspect of the local food culture. And along the way, I'm taking you inside street markets, souks, and even a restaurant that serves only camel meat. Trust me, it was so good, I wanted to lick the plate. You know what? I'm not gonna make you wait any longer. Let's go to Muscat Oma. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful Muscat, Oman, my 86th country. Yes, I arrived last night, and I'm super excited to explore for the next 10 days. But before we start eating and seeing lots of amazing sights, we're going for a Pakistani haircut. If you guys don't know about Oman, lots of Persians, Indians, and Pakistani community here, and we're going for a Pakistani haircut. So full head shave, beard, and massage. And my boy Ahmad. Oh, pleasure to meet you. How are you doing? Oh, great. How are you? Very good. So, what are we doing? I will do a just normal Pakistani haircut here with this barbershop. Golf Youth Barbershop. And my boy over here is Amen. Hi. How's everything? Good. <laughs> and you're uh, uh, from Punjab? Yes, Punjab. So, Lahore? Lahore. Lahore, 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 Lahore. <laughs> so it's a small barber shop. There's a uh, what four spots right here, right? And only one barber at the moment. Perfect. Let's do it. Let's do it. No I'm ready. Yeah. And you know, I wanted to leave my beard for this trip, but you know, we'll shave it and let it grow again. Yeah. Pakistani haircut in Oman. Yes, Pakistan. Do, do the works, man. Maybe fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm a, I'm a bit jet lagged. Arrived last night after almost 24 hours, man. 24 hours. That's a lot. I know. It is a lot. So I want a full shave, shave, everything shave. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's easier, you know. I get the, the full shave, and then I don't have to worry about it for like 10 days. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I shave my head every day, almost every day. Almost every day. Yeah, because I like that clean look, you know? Like clean, clean, bald look. Yeah, you feel smooth and uh, I feel cool air past your uh, Exactly. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, bro, so good. What do you think, like The Rock or Jason Statham? <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Oh, perfect. Okay. And what's amazing is next door they have a masala tea shop, right? So, karak, karak chai. Yes, karak. So Kalak Chai is basically ch uh, masala tea, but from the UAE, right? Karak, that's more of that style. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Love that feeling. It's not that bad, right? I actually let it grow for like five days for this one haircut. I usually shave every day, but I let it grow five days. Yeah, go Pakistan. Yeah, I went to Pakistan. Karachi, Karachi, Peshawar, Islamabad, Mardan, Gurjanwala. I had some amazing street food in Gurjanwala. Yes. Oh, the Nihari. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh, Nihari in Karachi, the best. Yes. I had some good galgapa in Lahore. Yes, yes, yes. Good galgapa. It's coming coffee. Oh, it's a coffee. Yes. Karak right there. Karak, Karak. Amazing. Saffron chai? I have saffron chai. Saffron chai. Alright, I guess I'll just jump on this. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, the saffron? I like it. Yep. Mmm, so tasty. Milky. Milky, yes. Oh, it's too hot though. Let me let me just leave it over here for a sec, my friend. No problem. Oh. Uh, did you? I uh, did, yeah. He's getting some TikTok. I'm on TikTok as well. I'm not uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a shave. No clean, clean, yeah. super clean. How's it good? Super clean. You know, it's funny, I, I literally fall asleep every time I get a haircut now. It's like the most relaxing, you know? Yeah, it's indeed. Especially with the, the, the teeth, yeah? <laughs> mm -hmm. Man, I can't resist massage. Oh, the massage? Yeah. So quick, huh? Takes two minutes to shave my head. 
Yeah. Time management, right? Go, time. go, go bald, time. Time. <laughs> go fast. Yeah. I need your hat, man. Today, today at the market, I'm getting the hat. Right. What's the name of the hat? Uh, Kumba. Kumba. Yeah, this one. Kumba. Kumba. It's beautiful. Omani Kumba. Yeah. Just Oman, right? No one else has this style. Uh, no, an Arabian girl, no. But you can find similarities in some place in Africa. You think the chai is no cooler now? Oh man, it's so hot. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, man. Great that you guys put the saffron on top. Beautiful. All right, clean. Mm. So good, man. The karak. Oh, it feels like I'm in India. So good. Uh, it is. I think sometimes they put more sugar on it. Like yeah. How's the sugar? Of course, they always put a lot of sugar, but the masala with the saffron. Perfect. It's a nice piece. Yes. Oh man, so good. He has to use the machine to cool, to like lower it, right? Because if not, he can't go in with the razor. Yeah, it's always harder with the razor like this long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Funny, huh? I look like two different people. <laughs> Punjabi mooch. Punjabi mooch. Mooch. Arbi shana. Nado? Yes. <laughs> Crazy, huh? How much I changed? Yes. Yeah. Different person. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Feeling good. We were like younger five years after that. Five years younger, right? Yeah. I'd rather look young, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Warren, mm -hmm. so we show you a massage. Mom. Shabbos. Mom. Wow. It's good. Nice and clean. We got some rosacea here. Breaking out a little bit. Got some cream for this, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. This is from the sun. Whoa. Yeah, right? Yeah, too much sun my whole life, you know? Born and raised in Miami, so much sun. Oh, I live in Miami. Yeah, man, born and raised. That's where I have my two girls, Miami. Yeah, yeah. Going most likely from America to these places, or you are having some other stations to stay, like for example? No, I always come from Miami. I have my two kids there, so I'm always there, you know? I'm a dedicated father. Some people are not dedicated to their kids. I am. 100% man. 100%. Inshallah, everything goes good, man. Inshallah, inshallah. All right, let's do this. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Nothing like that feeling. You know, I have friends who have no beards. They have, like, no hair. Man, it's great to have the beard, you know? Because then when you shave, oh, it feels so good. Yeah, but also without beard, it will be more relaxing, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, you could do laser. <laughs> I used to shave like twice per week. And now after I did some couple of sessions for laser, I'm doing it like two times per month. No way. Uh, no way. Yeah. You, sh you did laser? I did laser, yeah. But here, here and here, not in my beard. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do that. I yeah. think I'm gonna do that. After that, you will be just a very good and clean uh, skin. So how old is your eldest uh, daughter? My eldest daughter just turned six. Oh, six, mashallah. And the next one, uh, the second one turns four in May. Nice, nice. So this time, uh, they are very attached to their father. Oh, they are attached. They are saying all those daughters are attached to their father more than their mother. No, you don't know. When I get home, all they want to do is be with me. Uh, That's all they want. That's so sweet. Every day, every morning, every night. You know, I dedicate every morning, every night to my kids. It's my friend, Zahid. That's your friend. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. You good? Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Wow. So I'm bleeding. Yeah, it's okay. I always bleed, man. Bleeding is just a part of the Pakistan haircut. <laughs> it's okay. Mm. No, it feels great. It feels great. Wow, need some more of that chai. Mm. What an amazing chai, man. You like it, huh? With the saffron. Lots of hair, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good, nice. And obviously we haven't talked about it, but if you guys don't know, this is like the gem of uh, the peninsula, the Arabian Peninsula. This is where like all the spices came through for thousands of years. Right? Correct. I'm correct. No, that's correct. Mm-hmm. Nice. So you guys were ruled by Portuguese, then Ottomans for a second, Persians invaded, and then eventually you made a treaty with Great Britain, and then in 1970 it became independent, right? Yeah. 1970. 1970. And same, uh, same sheik, right? Say sheik. Uh, Sultan. Sultan. Yeah. But the same guy is still in power, right? Uh, yeah, same guy. But uh, the previous one he just passed away. Okay. Years ago, and now the other one. So his son, right? Uh, he, his uh, cousin. His cousin. Okay, okay, got it. Uh, his cousin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, okay. Ooh, what is that? This Oh yeah. You say that? Yeah, no problem. Oh yeah. Nothing like it, man. The Pakistanis and the Indians know how to give massages, man. Yeah. Especially for the head. Oh yeah, for the head. Oh, just get right in there. Oh. Oh man. This is the best man. Just running his fingers down my like spine right there in the back. Oh the skull, you know? Oh. So I'm sure he's gonna crack my neck in like ten places. <laughs> Oh, right here, the temple, right here. Oh, this is why you come get the haircut. A haircut's a haircut anywhere, but this part, it's only unique to one part of the world. Oh, Oh. Relaxation mode. Oh, yeah. I love that clicking noise. <laughs> <laughs> My brain vibrate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, give me, give me some, give me some love there, bro. In the spine. <laughs> <laughs> no, he gets your shoulders, your bicep, your tricep. Oh yeah. Oh man, he's gonna like stretch me out. This feels great. Oh, 
cracking every finger right now. Just cracking them all. Especially after a long flight, this is like the perfect way to relax. You don't need to go to the massage parlor, man. You come to get a, a Pakistani haircut, that's <laughs> it. Oh, yeah, it feels great. And it just makes its way up your whole body, right? Yeah. Just like right there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, dude, the spine. Okay. Is that it? I go to sleep here, man. Yeah. No problem. Oh. Best thing is after this to have a small nap. Yes, yeah, small nap, right? Yeah. Good. Oh man, I'm great. <laughs> so good, so good. It's coming with the wash. Oh, the wash? Yeah. He want to make you a wash? Uh, yeah. yeah. For your head? Yeah, yeah, let's wash, let's wash. Why? Because he just used some oil. Perfect. Ready. Coming. Right here? Yeah. So cold. <gasps> Oh, that feels good. Yeah, the best part about this is that you get to clean everything out. All the pores and all the excess, you know, little hairs that are everywhere. Oh, man. Get you ready for the day. Yeah, man. Yeah. After this, I'm having some delicious kebabs. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Lahore, Lahore. Lahore, Lahore. Lahore, Lahore. <laughs> it's good, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. I can rinse my eyeballs with shampoo. Phenomenal. Dude, I feel fresh. Too good. That's good. I'm falling asleep. <laughs> wow. How do I look? Oh. Young, right? Young? Five years younger. Five years younger. <laughs> Hey, shukriya, shukriya. Appreciate it, appreciate it. It's uh, just three reals, which means like uh, maybe ten dollars. Ten dollars. Most like ten, eleven dollars, like that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you. Appreciate Welcome. it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Haircut is one real. Beer cut is one real. And uh, cleaning is one real. Actually, it's one point five, but he just counted as one real. So he gave, gave us a discount by half a real. Yeah. So right now the current exchange rate is like 0.3 to a one US dollar. So one real is three US dollars. So that was roughly 11, 11, 12 dollars, right? Yeah, yeah, not yeah. Like plus a little tip, so like 15, let's say, right? You ready? Yep, let's That's go. it? That's it? Let's go, let's go. Woo, and that is it. Pakistani haircut in Muscat, Oman. That was quick, took like, you know, 30 minutes. Full shave, shave, little massage. Oh, it was great. Hope that you like it. Thank you so much. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video here in Muscat, Oman. My first morning. I'm excited. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to explore. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure somewhere in Oman. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful Muscat, Oman. This is my 86th country, and today I'm gonna be exploring this beautiful capital. We're gonna be starting off right here at the Sultan Qaboos Grand Mosque. Then from here, we're gonna have some Omani cuisine. I'm super excited. I've never tried Omani cuisine before. And then after that, we're gonna explore more attractions here in Muscat. My man, how you doing? Doing good, oh, man. Excited to show you around. Yes, sir. Yeah, Ahmed and name. Ahmed. Yeah. Same names. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we seeing today? So um, today we're going to see the Grand Mosque and the uh, used to be world's biggest chandelier and the world's biggest carpet. 
well, it got beaten just recently. Still worth seeing, man. <laughs> and so what's the name of the mosque again? The Sultan Qaboos Grand Mosque. Yeah. And when was it built? In 2001. And uh, after that, we're gonna go try some delicious Omani food in an extremely unique setting. So be ready for that. So we're gonna be eating traditional way on the floor, right? Um, we Hopefully. Can do that, or we can do the table, whatever suits you, man. Okay, perfect. <laughs> and this is beautiful. Great day. You know, today is uh, February 22nd. Yeah. Uh, it's cool. This is your winter, right? Um, it's the end of the winter, kind of. So we expect the summer to start very soon. Yeah. So uh, it's actually just one season here. It's summer. So it's a nice summer and a very hot summer. But I mean, honestly, recently, global warming, you get some pretty nice winters over here. <laughs> So this mosque is literally bathed in marble. So you have Italian marble. Omani marble also. Okay. You have, uh, some Islamic uh, architectural, uh, architectural uh, things. You will see it inside just Guys, let's right head out to this room, the big one. Okay, so where are we going? Um, right now we're going to the main prayer hall. Okay. Yeah, so the one that contains the um, big chandelier and the carpet. You know that the carpet is like one million billion and 700 million knots that's crazy and all of it was done manually that's all yeah all handmade so it was the largest carpet in the world but then that was taken by the one in Abu Dhabi the title was taken right wow look at this beautiful man the white white everything gray white and then obviously the Sun just <laughs> beaming on us <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey the detail work here it's beautiful, man. So nice. The intricate designs right here in these windows. And this is obviously so that you get fresh air coming through, right? To the whole place. Very, very, this thing is high too. You know, they started to the Sultan who passed away, give the order in 1992. Wow. And it has been ready in 2001. Okay. So, so it's already 20 years old. Exactly. Nice. Wow. Look at this. So but beautiful. More than uh, around 10 years to just construct it. To construct this. Yeah. Of All right, shoes off. Yeah. They're about to close. We're getting here just in time. 11:30. Salam alaikum. All yours. Wow. Yeah. Look at this. Huge. This is a chandelier. Massive chandelier. So this is the carpet, and that's the chandelier. Yeah. So these were both the, the biggest before. Biggest in the world, but now, I mean, got overtaken. Still, you can appreciate it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Look I mean. at that, we're walking just below it. I think it requires some emphasis. Wow, it is massive. Yeah, and imagine the labor work that goes into cleaning it. Like, and anytime any bulb goes out of work, um, they have to um, go up there, like follow safety procedures. It's a complicated job. Like someone has to go in, there's like limited time for them to stay inside. Wow. Yeah. So we are coming here to pray four or five times per day. And uh, this is here the Imam. Uh, who is like the leader of all the prayers exactly. and he stands here and uh, use the mics sitting here as you can see it's very beautiful decoration Islamic architectural Imam is sort of like the priest in like Christianity that would be the priest right in comparison right so the guy who leads the prayer right and then this as you can see this beautiful like this is where he stands to preach right where he says the prayer and behind it, you can see that's like it basically traditional Islamic architecture, very similar to the, what I've seen in Uzbekistan in terms of color. Nice, beautiful blues. You have a little bit of aqua and you have all gold and that's all basically the Quran, right? Scripture from the Quran, it goes all around. During uh, the Friday prayer, we will go up and stand there to see the speech. Yeah, because so Friday is the holy day, and that's when you have literally this whole place is full, right? Exactly. Whole thing. I love it, man. This is incredible. Look at that. Beautiful. What a shot right here. The chandelier is massive. And that was the biggest chandelier in the world. It's number two right now. So the carpet's number two, the chandelier's number two, and number one is Sheikh Said Mosque in Abu Dhabi, right? Which I was just at, like literally two months ago. Amazing, man. Yeah, but here at least you get to see it like this. Over there, you can't get into it. Really? Yeah, they have a like you have to like stand like you know at the gate. You know, it's a little different. Chokran, thank you so much.
Very lucky we made it here just in time to see the prayer hall. It closed actually really early. It's 11 15 in the morning. They closed the doors. Try to be here latest by 11 a.m. Really should be here 9 in the morning. Explore the whole mosque. Obviously, it's the best time. Look at this gorgeous gorgeous property i mean super white beautiful buildings lots of designs everywhere i mean they literally took their time to go and really make beautiful intricate designs and over here you have one of the minarets look at this incredible spot this is nice dude beautiful sandals what are we looking at next so um this place is where you wash up before going for the prayer so um people will just come here use the water wash up and then go to the um uh, prayer room yeah, so um, there's nothing special about it. Yeah, so I mean, this is this is what you always see in every mosque, but this one's a little bigger, yeah. right? A, a little more elaborate, very nice ceiling with the light coming through. You have a few different uh, chandeliers, right? You have some beautiful chandeliers. And then every time, you, you know, when you go to pray, you have to wash up, wash your hands, wash your feet, and you go in barefoot. Yep, that's very true. And this area is closed, I think, because of COVID. So um, only the area in the middle. The ones on the sides, they're fine. But I'm pretty sure they like don't allow you to be next to each other like when you come here. And usually people would come washed up from home. So they straight up go into the prayer room. Yeah. And after 30 minutes exploring this beautiful mosque, we are headed to eat some Omani food. Let's go. I am starving. Yeah, I believe that. Dude, you're going to enjoy this meal. Yeah. Big time. Yeah, I think you're going to want to sleep after it. I'm sure I will. <laughs> it's heavy, huh? Yo, it is going to be super heavy. So angry, man. Let's do it. Okay, so after a 20 minute driver here and this place is amazing. It's built like a fortress. Straight up fortress, man. Amazing. You're going to enjoy the food. Like, Don't get to see it by the looks. Food is actually delicious. The theme is amazing. And the setting, something you're not going to forget. Loving this fortress. Look at this, incredible. So you have the fortress, you have a few like antiques, you have a beetle here, you have a Land Rover there, you have a Rolls Royce in front, and this incredible mud fortress. This is a style here in Oman, right? So a really traditional, I think like 17th century style. Let's go inside, mask on. Great place, it's right? lit, man, this yeah, is beautiful. Dude, like, okay, so one thing, you gotta choose whether you wanna eat on the table or eat on the floor. So that's up to you to decide. So we have a big dining hall in the middle, really nice. You got huge ceilings, like 30 foot ceilings with light coming through. And on the sides, that's where you have those uh, traditional style uh, seating, right? So those are the side over there, side rooms. You have a little fountain here, obviously source of life right here, water. And you have a little gift shop. Oh, nice. This is called Rakhal. It is an Omani traditional bread made from the wheat here and the lady is doing it on the uh, plate of uh, steel or uh, under it gonna be a fire so it gives the heat from down and after that it's very thin uh, bread that and crispy you will just feel it like like a dosa. So it's super crispy bread made with wheat flour, right? So she has like this like griddle, right? This pan. So she just puts on a nice chunk. It's very, very thick from when she puts it on. She puts water, she grabs it, very thick wheat dough. She puts it on the pan, just spreads it very light, super thin. And that's it, right? Okay. Super crispy. Well, you can think that it's that's it, but it's actually not. So what happens is that although the dough is pretty thick, but then the sheet of bread comes out super, super thin. And there are a lot of fillings. And those fillings is what makes it unique compared to the dosa, I guess. All right, so this is the final product of the bread itself. But the fillings are over there. So you can have it with eggs, you can have it with chocolate, you can have it with cheese and Oman chips, which by the way, Oman chips is something you gotta try. Really gotta try. Yeah. So basically, this is the Omani crab. No, right? It's, it's Omani bread. Omani bread. Uh, no, I know, I know, but it yeah, resembles yeah, that. Exactly. And, and when you add the Nutella, then you're making it super sweet, you know? Yeah. So I'm trying this one, which is eggs, you got some cream cheese, and you have chips. Oh, look at this. Ooh, still really hot. Nice, super thin, paper thin, crispy bread. Mmm. Mmm. That cream cheese. Mmm. Makes it very creamy. This is nice and crispy. Super layers, right? The egg, it's like lightly in there. Then also the chips. Mm hmm Oh wow. So you, more? <laughs> okay. Thank you, I'm breaking the fast with this. Oh man. Mm. Love it. 
and super savory, not sweet at all. Man, that's so crispy, so fresh. Mm -hmm. I love it. Usually we have this for breakfast, but snacks works. Snack works. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Right. Yeah, man. I like it. That sour cream? Mm-hmm. A cream cheese, sorry, cream cheese. Mmm. Great snack. All right, guys, so we are going to one of the traditional rooms, 30 rooms just like this. Look at this, beautiful with Afghan carpet, really nice, you know, like 20 foot ceiling. Man, this is amazing. Do it, you're gonna enjoy the food today. So gonna sit down right here, post up. Oh, just like that. Oh. Relax with the chair with the with the pillow. Yeah, um, huge pillow. So this you is. You want to like, do a double pillow? Yeah, I'm definitely getting a double <laughs> pillow. So after you're done eating, you can just lay down, right? That's yeah. sort of the the strategy here. Yep. Just lay out and vegetate. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, right there, like that. And in case you guys have never been to any GCC country, this is traditional, right? So we always have the plastic, so you don't get the actual carpet dirty. You eat over the plastic, and then once it's done, they just wrap it up and take it, right? And throw it away. Yep. So, cheers my friends. Water, love it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, this is good. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's a, it's a winter day it's, and it's actually it's, still hot. It's, it's traditional Amani water, huh? Oh yeah? Yeah. It's, it's, it's pure H2O. Pure H2O A little from bit of springs. minerals, Amani minerals. Hello, hello. I'm cool, boss. How you doing, good? I'm good. So what do we got here? Yeah, you got soup here. This is a common bone soup. Put a little bit of lime, right? Yep. Lime in there, perfect. My first time trying camel bone soup, so it's basically camel broth. But you've had camel before, right? I've had camel before, yes. So this is yeah, exactly camel broth. Mmm. Oh wow. This It feels almost like lamb. A little really? gamey. Yeah, I mean, Wait. the fat, right? Yeah. I'm getting a lot of fat right now. Mm-hmm. Wow, it's like a green broth. The good thing is camel is cholesterol free. Mm-hmm. The camel, like cholesterol camel meat free? is cholesterol free. Oh, wow, yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, that's actually good, man. It's so good. Mm, and the fat has just like dripped through the entire yeah. broth. Wow. Yeah, oh, look at this, bro. Look at that. <gasps> Take a big bite of this. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh wow, mm, so nice, the meat, nice and tender. It's like slow cooked. Oh wow. Mm. Oh yeah. This is definitely like a super lean soup. Man, it's extremely fatty. Like I have no idea how it's cholesterol free, but it's gonna get us super thirsty. Camel gets you thirsty. It's so fatty in there. That line cuts it, you know? Yeah. Like yeah, it's so much fat. It's just a flat fat floating around. You like imagine just putting this in the fridge for like two minutes. Oh yeah. And then taking it out, the amount of fat you're gonna get out of it. Mm-hmm. I think you're putting the gallon. Dude, I would have another. That's how good this is. It's really good. It's too good. <laughs> it's really, really good. So what's next? So this is salad. Salad? Yeah, this all called the uh, roca salad. Masani. It's okay. a pastry. Mm -hmm. Inside it has a sugar. All right, so we're gonna start off with a salad. Yeah, for a salad, right? With that, I think this is. Um, let's see. Yeah, it looks like pomegranate, some cheese, uh, and arugula, right? And that's uh, on I the side, so. right? So we put on yep. this little plate. Perfect. Oh man, thank you so much. Beautiful. And then what are these? These are like nice. They look almost like potato fritters. These. Um, I think we're gonna dig in and. Check, yeah, it check it and out, and we can ask what it is. Man, very similar to like, you know, the rest of this part of the world, right? Use hands to eat. Exactly. So that, I don't know exactly what the, the dressing is, but it's amazing. Is it pomegranate dressing? It's pomegranate, pomegranate dressing, dressing and, and olive oil. Syrup with little lemon and pomegranate and lettuce. Mmm, mm, so refreshing. Mmm, crunchy. Love the cheese as well. Not too salty, just right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of everything. So you take this one, 
cut it into half, dip it inside, and just eat it. So it is a potato fritter, right? It's not potato. No? No. It is pastry, right? Pastry, yeah. Pastry inside the chua. Amazing. There's a coconut. Coconut? Oh man. Taking me straight to South India right now. This is like amazing. Yeah. So shua is the slow cooked goat. Goat with lamb, yeah, whatever. Even sometimes some people do with it with the with a cow. Okay. Yeah. So it's really what kind of meat you want to eat, but it's the way that it's cooked that makes it unique. So you cover it with the spices, Omani spices. Um, we'll talk about the spices later. But what happens is that we cover it, put it underground, two meters, under fire. Uh, I mean, the fire is gonna be gone, but it's gonna the, the hole is yeah, the pit is gonna be super super hot. It takes like 24 hours plus. 24 so, hours, yeah. So 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 that's what, you what do this is. is. You burn the wood there. You keep it for hours burning. It makes the pit extremely hot. You put off the fire, throw in the meat, and then it cooks slowly for 24 hours. And then so this is just pieces of that meat, and then they mixed it and they baked it. And then fried it, basically. Probably, right? probably. Th there's sauce. We need to figure out what sauce this is. That's probably like sugar syrup. It's pomegranate. Or pomegranate. Pomegranate, pomegranate. Right, right? And it doesn't stop here. So what we have here. All right. So first, the salad over there is a dried shark salad. So the fish is dried and salt. And then when you're ready to cook it, you just cook it in water again. Get rid of the salt. Put it in the salad with some onions, with some cilantro, with some. I think they put some vinegar in there as well. Okay. Tomatoes. It comes out really good, really, really good. Yeah, it's like fresh and then shark. Have you eaten shark before? I've eaten shark before, okay, yeah, of all course. Right, all right, all right. <laughs> the so next dish we have the chicken biryani, which is like biryani. a dumb style. Yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it towards the end to explain that. But we have uh, two kinds of extremely unique meals that are um, unique to Oman, yeah? So traditional way of cooking lamb underground. What happens is that you process the lamb, you spice it up, cover it with banana leaves, and then throw it underground. This one is 18 hours. Usually we do um, 24 hours. It comes out super soft, just falls right off the bone, and it's served with this kabuli rice, we call it. This rice is amazing. Like, I'm talking about it, my mouth is watery, I'm ready to eat. The last one, this is, we call it qaliya. So what happens is that you throw in the meat, yeah, from uh, the cow, the beef, basically with its fat, with everything, with it and then you just let it cook with itself. So you cook it in its own fat and the texture that comes out of it, the flavors, the beefy flavor, it's amazing. I am so excited, I cannot wait to dive in, but let me try this guy first. This is basically this, but baked and then fried, right? Yep. With fig, like a fig, um, I guess sauce, right? Um, yeah, from a grenade. Mm -hmm. How is it? Mm. It's really good. It's amazing. Wow. Mm. So it is lamb, right? It is lamb. Yeah. Of course. Has to be. <laughs> mm-hmm. So it's like lightly baked and then lightly fried. Yep. Mmm. This is incredible. I've never had like a lamb fritter. Wow. Nice. This is the absolute bomb. It's amazing, huh? It's amazing. Pair with the pomegranate, a little sweet. Mmm. Yeah. Savory and sweet. Wow. Oh wow. Could already smell it, man. Smell that goodness. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, it's like falling apart off the bone. I will just remove this from the rice. The banana leaf? Yeah. Just take it off. So the spice is there. Mm hmm. Yeah. It was so good. So much flavor. We'll do a bit of rice. So a bit of rice, and this is basmati rice, right? Yeah. So like long grain rice. Beautiful. And then next, we're going to do the shark. It's gonna get a little bit of that shark. Wow, it looks almost like a shark ceviche. It is, yeah. That's, it, it, that's basically what it is, right? Yeah. Oh man, look at that. You got the beautiful onions, nice like grated shark. It looks like almost peppers in there. Lots of lime as well. There's a lot of lime in there. Just like that? Yeah, it's pour it in there. Dude, this is amazing. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the shark. So how do we do it? Just like that? Just put on it. Okay. And mix it with the rice. Beautiful. And just take it one at once. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's the onions. Nice 
The little dense of shark. Mm hmm. Do it again. Mm hmm. The onion. Mm. Oh my gosh. Fantastic, huh? Mm hmm. I mean, lots of citrus flavors here. A little crunchy, very refreshing with the rice. Great balance. Whoa. Mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> I'll get some more shark. No, straight up. This is too good. Mm hmm. Yes, please. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Nice. You know, it reminds me of like. Southern Indian dishes. I've never seen something like this though, like almost like a ceviche. Yeah. But I mean, just the pairing with the basmati rice, mixing in all that, the juices, right? So like the, the lime in there, you have obviously some, um, some of the shark fat in there as well. And obviously it's a little hard to eat with the clothing. I'm getting dirty here. So you got on your knees like that, right? I do that. Yeah. Oh, this is great. This is amazing. <laughs> Who's saying also, you're teaching way, me? You're really good at eating with your hands, man. Oh, me, yeah. You've had some good training. Mmm. Wow. Just with a C right here. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can control on the food now. Someone's gonna try the beef, just like this? Yeah. Yep, just take it in. All right. You can take it with the bread also, if you want. You know what this is? It's like a beef fry. Is it? Mm -hmm. It is exactly that. It's almost the same as the beef I've had in Kerala, Kerala, Kerala. but it doesn't have the masalas, it's drier, you know? And you're mixing it with that, with the bread? Yeah. Yeah, sorry, my hands are a little, Go ahead, no a little filthy here. And you said to mix it with one of these, right? Yep, you can try the sauces. Sauces for So it's like a spice sauce, super like salsa. Yeah. Mmm. 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 Wow. Super lean beef. Yeah. Whoa. I personally love the shark. Mm hmm. I'm not gonna stop. Mmm. 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 Mm. That beef. Phenomenal. Mmm. Super tender. Nice and chunky. A little earthy too. I can't stop with the beef. I love how crispy and paper-like the bread is. Oh wow. So beef and honey? Yep. Have you never tried that? No, first time for me. Alright, then this is yours. My man, you're too nice. Beef and honey with the bread. Mm hmm Mmm. Super sweet. Mmm. You put so much beef in there though. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta balance out the sweetness mm -hmm. of the honey. Well that honey's amazing. And so honey is produced here, right? Yep. In Oman. In Oman. Awesome. In the mountains. In the mountains, huh? Yep. Bee honey, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When I eat. Take it with you. I'm taking that home with me, man. I'm gonna pack it. <laughs> oh, man, it's cold. It's amazing. If you guys don't know the history of Oman, in late 17th century, it became its own empire, the Omani Empire with the Sultan, and it extended from East Africa to Pakistan, and one of their territories was Zanzibar. And that's why you have this African influence, right? Yep. It's freezing. It's freezing. <laughs> it's like ice cold, man. <laughs> Oh, especially on hot days. Yeah. And right now it's not a hot day. Right now it's like 30 something and it's winter. How hot does it get here? Um, it gets to like mid 40 degrees Celsius. Mid 40. Yeah. It's yeah. like 100 something. Yep, yep. So uh, 100, 100, yeah, exactly, more than 100 Fahrenheit. And uh, man, in the summer, like July and August, you just do not want to get out. Not during the day. And once we're done drinking the coconut, they're going to open it for us and we're going to eat the tender coconut. Good serving. This is so, the best. This is the number one. This is the number one dish in Oman. Yep, sure. We usually have it in big celebrations, big ceremonies, weddings, and during uh, the uh, religious holidays, right? So during Eid time after Ramadan. 
You know where Ramadan is, right? Mm-hmm. In case you guys don't know, I religiously intermittent fast, so I could do Ramadan for sure. <laughs> I could do it. Hey, you're eating all this food, you gotta do that, right? You know, once you pass a few, you know, weeks of, of starvation, that's it. That's your it. Body gets used to your it. body's used to it. Oh man, you, you put a mountain of rice here for me. <laughs> Kabuli shua. All right, so this is the number one dish in Oman. Usually, it's like a, a festive dish, right? People usually do it at communal. You know, not festivals. At festivals, exactly. So we're gonna put some of that tomato like salsa on top, on the side, with the rice. Right here we have so much beautiful lamb. Look at this, like straight fat. Oh my gosh, and the spices here. So how do we eat it? Go again with the five fingers. Mm -hmm. Just mix. Of that. course, just mix like that. With the sauce that they have already put there. Mm -hmm. It's a big bite, huh? Yeah, with the big bite. Oh my God, that lamb, whoa, a little sweet, I don't know, whoa, it's like a blast of flavor here, mmm, the fat, so much fat, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the fat. fat with, the, with the meat, mixture. Mm-hmm, mmm, and the rice, chickpeas, onions, that tomato salsa, it's like the essence of Arabia right here, mm-hmm. Mm Mm. I cannot get enough of this lamb. This lamb, I think, is my favorite lamb of all time. <laughs> Straight up. I mean, the spices on top, the fat dripping. Mm. I'm going to pick it up and eat it right here. You have a nice potato right here, too? Oh, man. Mm -hmm. I've never had a lamb this good. Look at this. As you can see, Nice piece of lamb, beautiful spices, right? It almost looks like blackened, right? You got the fat, you have meat, and you just go in and just... Mm. It's too good a dish. I'm in love. I'm gonna sleep really well today. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep like a king. This is unreal. Mm -hmm. nice, huh? mm. Also, caramelized onions there too. Yeah, exactly. Caramelized onion with, mm -hmm. with potato. Mm. Mm. You know, I used to say the mutton biryani in India was my favorite mm. rice dish of all time. This might beat it right here. I mean, Tabu Shua. Shua. Yeah. Mm. The favorite explosion here. Whoa. Nice and smoky too. Mm hmm. Nice. Mm. Mm. I think I will see it right now. Mm hmm. After this food. <laughs> oh, you got a tender coconut right there. Look at that, guys. Oh, I can't wait for this. Enough for both of us, right? This is for you. That's for me? Yeah. Once you're done drinking coconut, go in and get the tender coconut or the coconut flesh. Mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even though it's small, this yeah. one's very sweet. Yes. Wow, I can eat like this every day, bro. Again? Again. These guys are making me pop here. <laughs> we haven't even got the chicken biryani yet. <laughs> mm hmm. Mmm, combination between Arabia and Africa. Mm? Yeah. So my friends here eat this a lot. I don't, so I'm going in for the rest of this lamb. <laughs> like, mmm, mmm, the ribs, mmm, those nice spices. Mm -hmm. Dude, what spices are these? It's such a mix. You'll find like a mix of. Whole spices, kind of grounded down. Mm -hmm. Black pepper, black dried lemon, orange, mm. cardamom. Yeah, I mean, cinnamon. It, it basically has everything from India, but a few other things. Yep. You know? I mean, like, 
this is the thing about the trade between Oman and India, right? So since beginning, like in back in the day, mm -hmm. we've brought spices all the way from India. So guys, we have the chicken biryani. We're gonna break through the bread. So that was like put into the baking oven or the tandoor. Oh, wow, beautiful. Yeah, I'll take a little bit. Just enough. Yeah? Yeah. This was a big meal. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of meat. That's the thing with meat. It sneaks up on you, you know? But we did have a lot of rice. So yeah, so this is how we do it, right? You break up the chicken just like that. Just break it into pieces. Mix it with the rice. Mmm. Nice spices. Still very moist. Mm. And the chicken is not too marinated. Just right. Like not, not, not an overabundance of spices here. Mmm. Tasty, man. Do it, do it. Mm-hmm. My friends here over eight with the Omani food. <laughs> so this is the chicken biryani, Omani style, way less spices. You don't even have pepper in here. Yeah, you don't. Mmm. Super tasty. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Dessert? Try it with the sauce. Oh, the sauce. This one? Yeah. Okay. Going to sleep while I eat this. Yeah, this is nice. This is a nice, like, little tomato salsa. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Amazing chicken biryani. Mm. Dude, it's I can't eat anymore. Food. I know. I love it. All right, uh, let's go have dessert, man. We're gonna have it in a different room, not the same one. Different room? Yep. And it's we, tradition? Yeah, we usually, uh, we, when we have uh, dinner or lunch, uh, for dessert, we go to another place. Yeah, so let's Perfect. go to another place, sit down, have some coffee. So we digest in a different setting. Exactly. <laughs> let's go. That's nice. Shoes on. Oh, I feel great. I'm full. <laughs> so tell me, what, what do we have here? So we have a mixed sweets. In this mixed sweets, we have a lucaymas, and we have a cabisa, and we have dates. So starting from here, this way, right? So that's dates. And also we have a. That's the coffee. Omani coffee. Omani coffee. All right, let's have some. Mmm, so aromatic. We decided to come out to the basically this courtyard, beautiful dining hall, lots of light, beautiful setting. My friends, cheers. Ooh, piping hot. Always piping hot. Cheers. Mm, mm. The same as yesterday, right? So light roasted cardamom. I think there's an extra hint of aromatics in there. Uh, probably more cardamom than what mm. we had. That's right, I think so. Oh yeah, delicious. I like it. Mm, so good. And then I'm gonna try one of these. Mm hmm. Basically, basically a donut. Mm hmm. Super soft inside, outside, a little crispy. Sesame seeds and sugar syrup. Mm -hmm. Very good balance with the coffee. I think this is thick. Do it. I think so. Good. I can't tell whether this is, it looks like thick to me, but it tastes like dates. It's a date? I think it's a date with biscuit. So it is like a super dense biscuit, right? Mm. And it's extremely dense. Mm hmm Very tough. Mm. Nutty. Oh yeah. It is. It is dates. Well, that was good. Oh, I'm gonna try the next one. There's another date biscuit. Almost like a cookie, right? Oh, it has coconut too. Mmm. This is nice and sweet. Coconut, dates, biscuit. This paired with the coffee. Mm, the best one. Mm -hmm. And the flush all that out. Palate cleanse with the coffee. I love this coffee. Oh, I love it. Nice and sweet. You get to see the sugar. Albisa. <laughs> so saffron, rose water. A few other things, right? Yeah. Mm. It's a crumbly cake. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. Actually, very soft. 
Very nice. Mm. This with the coffee, that's a great pairing. So what do we have here? This halwa latte. Halwa latte. Omani halwa latte. Omani coffee with halwa. Milk. Oh wow. It's good, but it, it's, it's, it's nice, but it's sweet. It's sweet. It's heavy. It's not super sweet that it overpowers the flavors. It's actually, it act, it's actually sweet enough with that hint of coffee. It's an amazing for a cold drink in the summer. It's very light on the coffee, but it's delicious, especially in the summer months. Cardamom and saffron. Mm. Oh, so good. All right, I'm done. Can't eat anymore. <laughs> My man, thank, thank you, you so much. much. Appreciate thank it. Thank you for visiting us. No, thank you, thank, thank you. you. This guy's the man. It's too much. Oh man. We are stuffed. That was an incredible Omani feast here at Rosna. Rosna, Rosna restaurant. Rosna restaurant, basically fortress, right? Yeah. Oh, what a day. We saw yeah. the mosque. Absolutely. We came here, we had an incredible feast. We're gonna see more attractions, but we are so full. We're gonna take a little nap. We're dead. A bit of rest. A bit of rest. The trip goes on. <laughs> So my favorite thing here was the lamb. Shua. 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 Yeah. Kabuli Shua. Kabuli Shua. Kabuli. <laughs> it was an incredible dish. So delicious. Super slow cooked lamb with the rice. Just phenomenal. I mean, the experience at this restaurant is amazing and it costs roughly around $80 for that massive meal that fed more than three people. It fed like four or five people. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. And we'll see you the next travel food adventure here in Muscat, Oman. Let's go. What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from beautiful Muscat, Oman with my boy Ahmed and today we're going to be exploring the Mutra Souk which is a beautiful night market. We're here at 515, it is winter, the sun is setting, so what are we doing here today? So we're checking out some of the street food they got over here, we're going to pass by shops, we're going to get you dressed. Omani style. Omani style, yeah. right? So I'm gonna get the hat, I'm gonna get the, not the kurta, the pistacha, the pistacha. Yeah. And right here, this is the entrance, right here. As you, as you can see, Silver World, and over here, you have the water, right? So you have the cornich, which is the boardwalk right there. Beautiful waterfront. And at the very end, right there, we have the fish market. And so which way do we go? This way? How do we, we get there? No, no, we'll do it that way. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's go down the stairs. Okay, I'm hungry. Are you ready? I am extremely ready. <laughs> so lots of shops here. Lots of beautiful shops. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Fast food. Al Raha. How are you guys doing? Everything good? Yeah, good, good. So what do you have? Samosa, pakora? <laughs> no, because I can see like some Indian snacks here, right? Yeah, yeah. Look at that. So you have the samosas. What else do you have? Bonda? Bonda, yeah. Yeah, Bonda. Wow, beautiful. And you have juices. Sugar, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna see lots of small like vendors like that, right? Yes. In, a lot of Indian Pakistani spots in here, yes. right? Because there's a lot yes. of uh, immigration from those areas, right? Yes. And, uh, and then over here we have so small vendors, just never ending. Over here we have like some spices. Right here we have incense as well. Incense, yes. This guy's wow. gonna help us with it's that. Uh, what is this called? Yuban. Do you remember that plant, small plant when we saw in the Rosna restaurant? Uh -huh. This is it. Next up is this coffee shop right here. So we're gonna have some rose milk. This is what we're doing. Hello, hello. My favorite. How you doing? Everything good? Yeah. Okay. Boom, this is it right here, right? Yeah, Your this favorite? Is my favorite, yeah, literally. Like every time I come to this place, this is what I get. We're trying some rose milk. Okay, perfect. So how much did it was it for each? Dude, like for the for each is like 150 basis, which is just like a little bit less than half a dollar. So I think okay. 40 cents. 40 cents yeah. for this. Pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Right. Perfect. Rose milk. Ooh, it feels nice and thick. Milk, cheers my friends. Cheers, cheers. cheers. It's nice. Mm, it's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's nice and milky, nice and frothy, very cold, not too thick. Not too thick, that's the best thing about it. So he just gave us tiny, like little bite-sized samosas. I have one, thanks. You have one, you too? So what is this? 
It's alu. It's so it's alu, basically. Potato samosas. Hmm. Hmm. Very nice. Veg and alu. Hmm. Veg with alu. Yeah, some onions in there. Mmm, very nice. Nothing nice crispy. Mmm. It's a good pairing with this, right? Mm. This is super like savory. This is a little sweeter. Sweeter, yeah, exactly. Good combination. Good mm -hmm. snack. Mm -hmm. Great snack. For three people, this costs like a dollar and a half. Nothing much. So, come to Oman. Enjoy the rosemary with the samosas. And what's the name of this place? It's called Coffee Shop, huh? Yeah. No, Haji. Okay, so it's up here. So, Haji Sons. It's delicious. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Where are you guys from? I'm from Kerala. You're from Kerala? Malabar. Malabar, where? Kochi? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Awesome. Thank you so much. Well, Shukriya or Nandin? Nandin. Uh, Nandi. <laughs> okay, so where to next? I mean, there's so many places here. Yeah, so well, basically, there's all souvenir shops right here, right? Souvenir shops, you get a little bit of specialty shops over there, like the ones selling the pregnancy, the ones selling the um, shoes that you were gonna get you, and we're gonna get you some uh, ready made stashes. Beautiful. So look at this. Very nice. Nice little jewelry boxes here for girls, right? For my kids, I love this. Yeah. But I wanna get something more traditional, Omani. Because that I've gotten in other places, in like Pakistan. Yep, exactly. Right? Um, so we'll go to more traditional shops. This is more like a jewelry shop. Yeah, yeah. And then we're going to find it there. Yeah, and they have nice lamps here, lots of, you know, chess boards. They have wood carvings, obviously souvenirs like these over here. They have knives as well. So a lot of knives in this country, huh? And what's the stick about? You were telling me something about the stick. It's not really a cane, right? This is good for Ahmed also. <laughs> this is one of the best sticks you can find here. Let me see. What are they? It's like uh, uh, made from wood, solid wood. But what is it forged? Is it a cane? And forged with the silver. So this vendor at Saffron Leading Village has a bunch of spices. Here you have turmeric, obviously from India. The rest of this is from Iran. And he has a lot of saffron, obviously. Saffron leading village. You doing everything good? What's up, man? What's up? How are you? Very good. So where's the saffron? Saffron. Right there? Number one in the world. Wow. How many do you have? Number two. Okay. Number three in the world. Number three in the world. And what's the difference between these three? This one, okay. Powder. It's small, it's small, okay? Okay. For three years ago. Okay. This one with yellow color. Okay, with yellow color. Uh, number two for two years ago. This one, big one. Big one and red. Okay, for this year. You want for tea, for coffee, for cooking, for rice. Only one piece. In case you guys don't know, saffron is the most expensive spice in the world. You only get like five of these from each one, right? From each uh, flower, right? It's incredible. So what else do you have? Just a mix of things. You have nuts, you have black pepper, you have chili powder, so many good things. So you sell it like this? Oh, you sell it by gram, right? Yeah. How much for a gram of that? This one, one gram, I give you eight, eight real. This one, one gram, three real, one gram, one real. So one gram of this is, uh, so that's uh, 20 something, $24. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's $24 for that. That's crazy. That's expensive. expensive. Oh, but it's the best. Thank you so much, Thank Chokran. You welcome. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Yeah, awesome. So now you guys know you want saffron, come to him. Take care, bro. Welcome. Thank you. Um, there's an Omani shop. An Omani shop. shop. Money owner, he's working there. I think he has a lot to offer. Let's check it out. Hello, hello. hello yes. How are you, sir? Thank you. Everything good? Thanks. Nice to meet you. Thanks. So this is your shop. Wow, beautiful. Thank you. I love all the lamps. So all these lamps are for oil, right? Where's Aladdin? The genie. <laughs> Another stick? Oh my god. What is that? Sword? It's a sword. It's a sword. Yeah. Check it out. Wish I could open it. Okay, so I've been looking around and I think what I'm gonna take is this one. So these beautiful earrings for my kids. So nice. Turkish, right? Very nice. Nice and dangly, right? So really nice. 2.5, so that's roughly like seven, eight dollars. Seven, eight dollars. Yeah. Okay, do you have uh, the same one? Well, I need like another color. Yeah. So I'm taking three different pairs of earrings, 2,500, so 2.5, two, 2, and 2, so whatever that is right now in dollars, probably like 15 US? No, more. 16, 16 US. It's a good deal, right? 
And fixed price, right? Fixed price. Fixed price. Yeah, so no negotiating here. Don't come in here and try to buy 20 things and negotiate. It's set price. He's a good man. Pay him his dues. All right, let's go, let's go. All right, got my kids their first gift oh, anyway. in Oman. Anime photos. Oh, anime photos. Yes. They, they do, they're drawing my So your daughters do this? Yes. They're beautiful. Ah, oh, Goku, Goku. Goku, yes. Goku, <laughs> this one, this one, this one. It's Goku? Yeah, it's Goku. Super Saiyan Blue. I'm Super Saiyan, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Next up, we're gonna keep walking through here. Going back to the center, and then there's so many different lanes. It feels like the Grand Bazaar in Istanbul, right? Yeah. It feels it's, like it. It's like huge, man. Huge, huge. Yeah, so right. many lanes, so many spots. So let me ask you a question. This over here, is this like made here or no? This is all from no, India. No, this is definitely not made here. Okay. Is there any like wood carving crafts that are made in Oman? Is there anything uh, like traditional like that? Or the dagger is the most traditional the thing? The dagger is the most traditional. That's why it's super expensive. And it's made out of silver. Yeah. All right, so next up, we're gonna go look for the shoes. The headpiece and the clothing. How far for the shoes? Just right here. No way. Right here? Yep. Hi. Hello, hello. How are you? Very good, and you? Good, thank you. I'm looking for me. Okay. I need shoes. Okay. Man, they're all so beautiful. Wow, all leather, right? Everything leather? Yeah. Mix, right? So what, what should I buy? Like, what's I good? I think you should buy one of these and this one. It's a good. Here we go. We have the Mark Comfort Omani style slippers, right? Beautiful slippers, look at this guys. Mark Comfort, very nice, very comfortable. You have black, you have white, and you have a space for your big toe, right? Your toe right here, other four toes on the side. Let's take this off and try it on. See if it fits. Put it right there like that. Let's see, maybe too big. Or it's per perfect? Perfect size. You think it's perfect size? It's perfect. Oh, nice. So he's saying it's 12 and a half, he's saying it's five. Obviously he's trying to negotiate here. I mean, it fits well. I don't know if it's too big. What do you think? I don't think it's too big. This is too big. Yeah, that's too big? So what do you guys think? I like it. Very nice, traditional 12 and a half. So you're talking about like uh, 30 bucks, roughly? Okay, so he negotiated 12 and a half down to 11. So whatever that is right now, 25 US dollars, 26 US dollars. I think it's a good deal. All right, I take it. Okay, thank you. And I take five more. Okay. <laughs> hey, Chokran, Chokran. Where are you from? I'm from India. Where? Mumbai. Marathi. 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 <laughs> hey, shukriya, shukriya. I'm from Mumbai. Namaste, 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 namaskar. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. All right, that was nice, man. Yeah. Here's 10 bucks. Congratulations. 10 bucks. <laughs> I ate 10 bucks. That's bucks, man. All right, so we found the shop that has the hats. Yeah. Look at this. I'm just going to put on one to see how I look. No, too tight. Too tight. Let's see. Let's see some more. How many you have? A million. Yeah, man. You got to choose with the color you like, the size that you fits your head. It's a lot to choose from. Wow, look at that blue. I prefer color. Oh, but that one's nice. Already, I can tell you I love this color. And I think it's gonna fit. Ah, it's too oh, big. It's too big. It's too big. No, that is small. It's too big. This is 11. Oh, and then there's one. You can see there's one. Mm -hmm. So it always fold it, right? Like that? Yes. That's part of it, right? You can turn up. That's one. It's nice. Small. I just don't know if I like the color, but it's too small? Small. Small, small a little thing. tight. The main thing is that it has to pass here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's not passing. But I mean, the color is the, is the critical thing. The size, obviously, but we gotta find the right color. That's the size. That is the size. That's is nice. It? I think Sorry. so. I think it's like right there. Uh, Maybe a little tight? What do you think? I think tight, man. Tight? Oh. Yeah, like, you're not gonna be comfortable. Like no, that. I'll get a headache like this, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. No, no. It's amazing. And how much does this cost, each one? What? Try that one huh? Okay, let's try this one. Okay. And that's the right fit. I think that's the right fit. That is the right fit right there. Yep. That is it. How does this one look? Oh, nice blue, huh? Yeah. Nice light blue. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, if you go with the plain, you could choose basically any hat color. Because if you go with another color, a blue or a red or a green, then you have to go with that hat, right? Yeah, I think you should like take a plain one, but like color but, is kind of dark. Oh yeah, you think color dark? Yeah. Really size? 62. Same. Yes, for him 62. You know my size just looking at me. Just time idea, just time. I'm thinking 62 is for your good size. Yeah? <laughs> 60, okay, let's try this too. Let's try, let's try it. Take the hat off, the kuma. Put your 
So this is size 62? Yeah. It fits perfectly, right? So this, nice. How's it look good? This looks really good. Try to, okay, this is the real test. If I can close this, huh? Yeah. I'm sure I could because I don't have that thick a neck. Yeah, man, you can close it. Oh, that? For me? Yeah. Are you supposed to do that? Yeah. That's cool. All right. This is culture. Yeah, you know, I, I love the other colors they have at the airport, all those guys. Yeah. They're very, very colorful. I mean, why go plain? <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. Yeah. Ooh. This thing got hot. That's good, right? Habibi. Yeah. My brother. Whoa. All right, don't move your head. I mean, this is a big wrap, huh? I mean, I don't know if I can do this every night, man. Take this, <laughs> like a five minute. Probably not. <laughs> oh man, it got tight though. I could feel the tightness around the temple, especially, you know? It would have been a lot better if you didn't move. <laughs> if I didn't move? No, but it looks great, huh? But it has to be with the hat, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. This is different. Yeah. It's cool. So how much for this piece, too? I think it's also two, two and a half rails. Like two and a half rails? Yeah. I like this. Crazy. My friend, how much do I owe you for everything? Reasonable price. We bargain, we bargain. Yes, sir. Come on, two, two, and two. So all together, 11 and a half. 11 and a half? Yes, all together, two pieces. So what are these? These are like the tra the more traditional Omani ones. The one that you're wearing on is not purely Omani. Like you'll find <coughs> a lot of people in the Middle East wearing the similar type of uh, head wrap. The checkers. Yeah, but this one, the Musara, it's purely Omani. Um, you'll find some people elsewhere wearing it, but it's like it's known to be Omani. So what are we putting on now? Putting on the Musara. We're changing it up. Let's do it. Final step. Okay. Don't make it too tight. Yep. I feel like it's going to be really hard for me to do this myself. Yeah. Yeah, I can do it like right here, like this. Okay. Like that? Yeah, no, no. Um. You need me to hold? Or you got me? Hold on from here. Hold on? Yeah. So it's got to turn and twist, right? Yep. So it stays together? This in itself is an experience, man. <laughs> Just getting this put on. Ooh. Careful, not too tight. You know how many wraps of this I have in my in my drawers? This how one? many? Uh, not this one, but like similar <laughs> ones. Well, every country I've gone to that they have this culture, I'll buy one, you know? Sometimes I'll buy two or three, so I can change it up every day. Yeah. The colors? And this one's uh, like, what, 12? So roughly like $26 for this, right? But, you know, obviously traditional, you can only find it in Oman. It is, it is knitted here, right? Of course. No? no? Uh, Kashmir. Kashmir. Oh, okay. Dude, this is perfect. Now I'll get rid of the mask, right? And that's it, guys. Look. Look good, right? Looking good, man. Looking good? Looking extra money today. All right, so how much do I owe you? <laughs> five, five, five. <laughs> no, five? I, no, I would no. buy double then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I got two hats, I got two scarves, yes. and for 50 US dollar, 20 is the deal he gave me, 20, right? Okay. This is a good man. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Bangladesh. From Dhaka? <laughs> I'm near Dhaka. Near Dhaka, so you like fish? Yes. <laughs> and he likes Puchka. Puchka every day. Puchka. Shukriya. Thank you, sir. Shukriya, shukriya. He, he surprised on my Indian knowledge. <laughs> Boom. Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Okay, let's go. I feel good. I look good, right? Yeah. Shawarma place is just right there. Oh, let's go. So, yeah, let's give it a try. Time to fill our stomachs again. Yes, yeah, sir. This is going to be great. Hello, hello. How are you doing? So, basically, all the same style vendors, right? Yes. It's uh, just like 500. But some of them have really, really cool stuff. A lot of things, obviously, from India, brought in from uh, from Iran as well, from Persia. Uh, beautiful stuff. So, this is one of the best shawarma places in Matra. In Souk Matra, Matra uh, market. Look at that, beautiful shawarma. Oh, nice, guys, look at this. Beautiful, so it's a small shawarma. Look at how tiny it is. What does he put in there? Some lettuce, some hot sauce? 
tahini. Oh, he puts tahini too? So it is like almost like Lebanese slash Indian. Nice, so it's a good mix, right? Oh, and I like the pita. Very nice, not too uh, crispy, right? This is perfect, a little, a little uh, doughy too. So how much did we get? 600 baisa. 600? Baisa, yeah. So like... It's almost one real minus 400. Per, per each. For a trio. Wow, so that's a deal. Each, each is a 200 baisa. And there's the shawarma. So, what is it? Meat looks like some kind of... Uh, this is not lettuce. No, it's cabbage. It's cabbage, and then there's hot sauce. All right, let's try it, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Really good. Mm -hmm. Nice crunchy cabbage. Hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet. Luckily we got our three. Why did you say there's no meat there? Yeah, he was telling us he was sold out. He still, he still has a lot of meat there. Mm -hmm. I like the bread, nice pita bread, nice and soft, almost paper thin. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, this is close to the bottom. Mmm. The mix with the hot sauce. Mmm. Nice fat, crunchy cabbage, and nice crispy bread. A little toasty. That was good, especially for the price. It was like less than a dollar. What's the name of the shop? Uh, coffee shop. Coffee shop. Yeah. <laughs> All of them are coffee shop. So it's coffee shop, but it's coffee shop Saluiman bin Kasmin Trans. Okay. And this is the main guy? My man. Very good. It's very nice. Very yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, Allah. <laughs> Throughout this market, you're going to find small lanes just like this where you're going to find the same thing everywhere basically scarves hats, souvenirs, basically the same thing over and over again. Obviously different vendors, some have different varieties. Oh, what is a Louis Vuitton? It's not real though, man. This is not silk, huh? Oh, no, 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 it has to be real, man. <laughs> so basically same thing everywhere, right? Similar. Yeah, it's almost same thing everywhere. In soup, but it's a big, everybody's uh, trying to sell something from his part. Exactly. Uh, everybody wants to, I mean, uh, Enjoy his time also. So that's it. We exited the souk. Now it's time to eat. Over here we have a bunch of restaurants to the right, right? Yeah. Hello, hello. How you doing? Fantastic. Feeling good? Yeah, very good. You're doing very nice. Very nice, very nice. So now we're going to taste the chicken shawarma. We got done with the beef. Now we move on to the chicken. Let's give it a shot. This place is called Samma Musky Cafe for fast food and fresh juices. Okay. And right here we have the shawarma. Chicken shawarma right here. Basically live, right outside. So he's cutting all the chicken, right? Letting it hit the ground. Then he adds the cabbage. The cabbage he adds, uh, so he adds the pita with some, I think that's like yogurt or tahini. Some more sauce, some more spice, right? Beautiful. And then he rolls it up and that's it. Dude, this looks good. A bit more fatty than the one before, yeah? Yeah, there's way more meat in here, right? Yeah. And you got some hot sauce here? Yeah. It's good? Mm. Good stuff. Drop in the hot sauce. So they gave us some chilies on the side? No, no. No, don't do that. I'm used to this stuff, man. Is it? No. So good. It's hot. Mm. Mm. It's nice. It's not too crazy. No. If it goes through pretty quick, it's fine. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Whoa. So this is nice. This is a lot meatier. Obviously, the last one we just had was beef. They didn't give us enough beef. It was like, it was slacking. <laughs> Let me try this. Mm hmm. Mm. Way tastier. A lot more sauce in here. Mm hmm. Mm. You got yogurt, you got cabbage, and you have hot sauce. Mm hmm. And we have more hot sauce, right? This is not that hot. This is almost like Cristal. Mm -hmm. So here in Muscat, you come to this market and literally eat for less than five, five bucks. Yeah, of course. That's awesome. Wow. It's like four dollars. That's it. Four dollars. Four shawarmas, three waters. Fair enough. All right, guys, so he's cutting up the chicken shawarma. This is how he does it, technique, right? So he puts a spoon on the backside, 
holding it together, down, supporting. supporting. So my turn, let me try one time, one time. All right, all right, so I'm gonna get in here, so turn it to where it's cooked, right? So like right here. So this is supporting, right, there. I'm so bad at this, I'm so bad at this. Give me all this chicken. <laughs> hey, thank you so much, appreciate it, appreciate it. Hey, shukriya, chokran. You, thank you so much, thank you. Let's go find some more food. <laughs> I'm not full enough. <laughs> me too, I'm still. <laughs> He's still hungry. How do you say hungry in Arabic? Ju'an. Ju'an? Yes. Ju'an? Ju'an. Ju'an. Oh, how do I say I am hungry? Ana Ju'an. Ana Ju'an. Ana Ju'an? Yes. Ana Ju'an. No, I'm good. I had two. Uh, you're good. You're good. I'm, I'm still hungry. So this place called Haydari. When we were kids, we were coming here. It serves. He serves here kachori, samosa, and uh, oh. some some material of chicken, small chicken and meat, sandwiches, small sandwiches. You can get lots of varieties here, small, small items, small, small portions with uh, reasonable prices. All right, so we're in the kitchen and look at this, he's making some chapatis. Beautiful chapatis, so a little different from parata, super thin, put it on this griddle, right? It heats up, puffs up like lots of air pockets really, really quick, then he flips it, adds some ghee as well, right? Some nice ghee. Let's do it, let's do it. And right here we have the tiny samosas, all veg samosas. Hot? Mmm. It's good. And crispy. And nice. Alright, so now we're gonna make a sandwich with a parota, right? It's a nice flaky flatbread. This one looks good. Oh, what'd you put there? Some sour cream? Mayo. Ooh, some chips. You guys like adding chips here. Okay, okay. Let's see. Is it, how old is it? Oh, he said 70, not 7. 17 years. 17. 70 years. This shop is 70 years old. 70 years. Wow. He says it's more than 50, that's probably how old he is. So more, it was than, more than 50, his uncle was here. Uncle, yeah. yeah. This is a piece of bread with uh, some Omani chips. And cheese and hot sauce. So, um... It's a nice snack. We usually have it. The Somali chips is the one thing that we really did well. They always hot sauce, huh? Yeah. So it's very nice with it. You eat so quick, man. So quick. This is just like in Lebanon, right? Super small, thin sandwiches. This one's with chips, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Amazing. Mm. This one's almost like Tabasco. Nice hot sauce. Mmm. Mmm. The parota. So this is like traditional Kerala light bread, right? So it's like a parata, but then they puff it up, right? Feels very similar. Nice and flaky. Then you have throughout the cream cheese mixed with the hot sauce and the chips. Another one dollar snack, right? Exactly. What makes this one is the contrast between the sour cream the chips and the hot sauce. Yep. Plus, they had to do it with the right bread. Exactly. Mmm. Mmm. I love it. Wow. You know, people don't get it. The India has the influence in Arabia, right? This is amazing. I love it. It's hot sauce. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. I like Tabasco more. <laughs> Before we leave, you gotta finish it off with uh, some karak tea, yeah? Yeah. So let's get started. Karak tea. So, masala chai. Masala, masala. By the way, the owner, he's from Calicut. Calicut. Calicut, the best biryani, Malabar biryani in Kerala. Yeah. So my man here is giving me the karak chai like this, but you know what? I'll do it the Indian way. Watch this. I didn't even look. Woo! 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 Too hot. Oh. <laughs> Just like that, right? Just put it inside here? It's getting better like that? Mmm! Oh, this is amazing masala chai. So this has a lot of cardamom. You have a little bit of cinnamon. Mmm! Very frothy. So, if you guys don't know what karak chai is, basically masala chai, right? It's it's basically tea from India, and it has spices, it has cardamom, it has milk, a lot more milk, right? So it's almost like a cafe con leche. Obviously, no coffee. 
And that's it, my friends. Let's go. You ready? Let's get going. Shukriya, shukriya. Shukran. Shukran. Nandi, take care. <laughs> That's it guys, we did it. We explored the Sukmatra. Sukmatra. So we went out, we bought the clothing, the hat, the sandals, we had a bunch of food, we had some Indian snacks, we had some shawarma, we had more Indian snacks, amazing. Yep. And now we can officially say you're ready for the rest of the trip. Officially, right? And that's Absolutely. it. Yeah. Awesome. What a great day. First day here in oh, Oman. Feels good. Feels good. Feels absolutely good. I'm super jet lagged, but I'm good. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Oman. Where you at? Where you at? <laughs> Assalamu alaikum everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful Muscat, Oman, super early, 7 a.m. Today I'm gonna to take you to have some traditional Pakistani breakfast here in the Rui area at Punjab Suites. This is a 50-year-old shop and they do traditional Pakistani breakfast. So we have habla puri, we have paratha, we have chana, we have lentils, I mean dal, I cannot wait to eat. And yeah, today it is early, 7 a.m. Uh, we're gonna eat lots of amazing food. This place opens at 5 a.m., right? Hussein, how you doing, bro? How you doing? Ready to go? Yeah, let's go. The guy cooking up all the food. Oh, wow. So over there we have, what, samosa? Samosa, and over here we have parata. So it's alu parata. Let's go inside. Let's go to the kitchen. These guys are so nice. Punjab sweets. Oh, wow. Oh, I love these. Oh, all these pakoras, nice fritters. Look at all this, guys. Hello, how you doing? Everything good? Good, yeah. Laham kebab, shami kebab. You have shami kebab? Shami kebab. Shami kebab. Okay, okay, it's good. Chori, laham kebab, shami kebab, pakoda, laddu, namak para, pani puri. Oh, you have pani puri as well? No way! No way! All right, all right. So, and karak tea. And karak tea, okay. So let's, uh, let, can we go in the kitchen really fast? Let's go, let's go. Let's rock and roll. Assalamu alaikum. Lahore, 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 Lahore. Woo! Feels like I'm in Pakistan again. Love it. So right here we have the chicken biryani, right? Beautiful look with the spices, cooking its own juices. Oh, this is this is truly authentic Punjabi breakfast here. Oh, and this is all samosas. Eating samosa. Is veg samosa? Veg samosa. Woo! Oh yeah, that's so good. Nice and hot in here. It is amazing. Making uh, paratha. Aloo paratha. Aloo paratha, aloo paratha, muli paratha. Okay, so what's the difference? Uh, three types. Three types. So what are the types? Aloo? Aloo paratha, muli paratha, sada paratha. Uh, four one, anda paratha. Perfect. Any spicy? Spicy? Spicy. Yeah? Spicy. Give me all the spice, man. Oh. Chilies, give me everything. Oh man, we're gonna eat so good. After 6 p.m. you have barbecue. Barbecue. Wow. Tikka kebab, burger, chicken burger, randa burger, cheese burger, and anything. So come here for breakfast 5 a.m. to around 11 a.m. And then after 5 p.m. you can come here for barbecue, Pakistani barbecue. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, that's how it works, right? It just puffs up like a big pillow. Huge pillow. Wow. It's gonna keep going, huh? And everybody here is Punjabi, right? Ayva. Ayva. Oh, look at all that oil. Yeah, big, big puri. Love the puri. This is my favorite. This, you know what they call me in America? Puri King. I'm the Puri King. <laughs> wow, we got this guy. Is he gonna put this aloo in it or no? Amazing. I love how he flattens it. Nice, super thin, right? Super thin. Oh man, coming into this kitchen, my mouth is watering. I am ready to eat that Puri. 
Oh, that parata. I love it. So right here we have the sweet, and then over here we have a mixed rice. So all oh, we have jalebi right there. You have a mix of like burfi here. You have halva, and right here we have the karak. This is masala chai, karak. So I got my karak. This is the masala chai. Woo, so hot, scorching. And if you guys don't know why there's so many Pakistanis here, well, 20% of the population in Oman is a mix of Pakistanis, Bangladeshis, and Indian, right? And I have my chai here. Ooh, it's so hot. But you know the trick, right? Right here. I can do it with my eyes closed, but I won't be that brave right now. So I keep going, right? Ooh, so hot. And then what you do is you should leave it in the cup that didn't have the heat, right? So it didn't have it, so it cools down, right? Obviously, this absorbs so much heat. Oh, it's like it's like boiling. <laughs> Try this. How is it? Oh, it's great, man. Super frothy, nice and milky. We have the bubbles on top. Lots of cardamom, lots of cardamom. Wow, what a great day. 7 a.m., amazing. What a beautiful city. Hussein, you ready to eat? I am ready to eat, man. Now we're ready. I'm super ready. This guy just set up a table for us outside. This is amazing. Inside, it's all Pakistanis. You know, it's purely, truly authentic. Authentic Pakistani food right here. Oh, man, what do we have here? This is... Chana? Dal and chana. Yeah, together. I actually haven't seen like that before. And right here, we have halva. Yeah. Raita. So you take this like that and pour it on it. Very nice. Oh yes, finally the puri. Massive puris. Eggs? Yeah. Spicy. Omelette. Nice. Yeah. Oh, let's do it. So that's the plain parata, right? Yeah. And then over here he's bringing lassi. Perfect. So this lassi is just a sour lassi. It's a sweet lassi. That's a sweet lassi. Yeah. Perfect. All right, and then we have everything, basically. Eggs, paratha, so yeah. you mix it, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And for me, my favorite thing of all this is the puri. So you get the puri, use one hand, guys, one hand. This one is super flaky, just how it is in Lahore, right? And you get some of this halva, just like that. Super sweet, mixed with the oil. Mm -hmm. mm. Amazing halva. So good. Mm-hmm. Oh, the combination, nice and sweet. This is super crumbly, very flaky. Mmm. Love the oil. Yeah, man. Yes. This is like takes me straight back to Islamabad, <laughs> to Karachi. Let's get a bunch of this halva. This is like almost like a pumpkin halva, right? Like Looks like it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. No, plain parata. Look how beautiful it is. So super light, super thin, nice and toasty. So just get a piece. Always use one hand, guys, like that. Then get a piece of this egg. Wow, nice omelet. Amazing. Yeah? Amazing. Chana? Chana and dal. Chana dal. Mm -hmm. Super, right? Try it. So grab some of the parata, right? So you just break off a piece of parata right here. So that, don't get too much, you know, small bites. Go in, you get this beautiful chana mixed with dal and raita. Mmm. Super light, nice and chunky. Mmm. All the combination. Love this parata. You know what I like about it is that it's so light. It's not one of these sticks, like multiple layers. It's just nice and flaky. And you just grab more. Mm. Dude, what a great breakfast. Mm -hmm. Combinations. Mm -hmm. Great mix. Always pair the puri with the halva. That's a staple, right? The parata, you mix it with all this. Ooh, I got chili. Mmm, that's spicy. And what do we have here? Show me kebab. Potato, spices. I forgot the last time I tried this, but it's basically like a potato fritter. 
right? Nice potato fritter, super, super thick. You know, as you can see, lots of potatoes in there, spices. So it's like, has to be turmeric in here, right? Because if not, it wouldn't be this yellow. Meat, meat. Good? Nice. So it almost looks like a pakora mixed with vegetables, but it has meat. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, I love the spices in here. Yeah. And it's not too spicy. It's cumin. Cumin. For me, there's nothing like this mix, this combination, right? The parata, chana, and the dal. I mean, I actually haven't seen it like this. It's different. It's different, right? Mm hmm. The pairing of both chana and dal. Mm -hmm. And also some yogurt. The trick is in yogurt. Right here, we have a sweet lassi. If you guys don't know, lassi is a dairy drink from Pakistan, India, Bangladesh. They all have it. The reason for this is the cool down heat, right? I just had some spice. Oh, nice. Not too thick. You know, Punjab style is very thick. I went to Amritsar and Lahore. Very, very thick. This one's nice and watered down. A little more watered down. And obviously, the karak. Mmm. So good, my friend. So what's left? This guy. This guy chutney pakora. So what is this, like an onion pakora? Beautiful onion pakora. So usually you dip this into a chutney. Very oily. Mmm. Crispy. Crispy, nice and crunchy. If you've ever been to like Chili's or Friday's, if you have the onion bloom, the onion, fried onion, same thing. Yeah. This is better. <laughs> This is freaking amazing. This is yeah, that's one thing that people don't get about the difference between Pakistani and Indian cuisine. The big difference, it's way meatier in Pakistan. Lots of beef. Oh, what do we have here? Mmm. This is a sauce of... It's tomato chutney? For, for pakora. Tomato chutney, right? So it is about tomato, some cumin, and some chili inside it. Mixed with little oil and comes like that. So it's thick and put spicy. That, put that inside it like this. It's sweet also. There's some sugar inside. Oh yeah. So it's like a, a sweet and chili, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's beautiful. It's reminds me of like uh, some of the Chinese uh, sweet and sour. I'm gonna mix this with this beautiful onion pakora with this sweet and sour chili. Mmm, nice and glazy. Mm -hmm. Almost like a marmalade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a great breakfast. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Guys, I am so happy right now. And now, we just mix anything, right? Just I'm gonna have some more of this though. With curry, with everything. With the kebab. Mm. This is the best. That kebab? That's not chopped kebab, what is it called? Uh, meat, meat, lamb kebab. Lamb kebab. Meat kebab. Meat kebab. Yeah. Wow. I guess I'll get us some more of this, bro. Oh, this is heaven. Breakfast of champions, right? <laughs> Seriously. Oh, man. This mix. Mmm. Spicy omelet. Yeah. Always get the last thing. Always. A pretty good verse at this, huh? If you said it's all mine, it's all mine then. <laughs> I mean, the flaky puri is amazing, right? And it's exactly the same as in Pakistan. Like, identical. The same. And look at that. You just wrap it a little crazy and add some other stuff, huh? <laughs> like that. Oh, awesome, some right there, you think? Ah, the chutneys, right? All the sauces. Yeah. Right there. Oh. <laughs> combination, eh? It's a crazy combination. Mmm. Like, so sweet. You got a little chili. Mmm. Oh, man. I feel great. <laughs> this is home for me, man. <laughs> I'll tell you, I feel most at home in Asia. Really, eh? Yeah, even though my kids is where my heart is in Miami, India, Pakistan, Middle East, I just feel something very special here. People and the food. 
Exactly. Exactly. This is how you get satisfied, happy, and you feel like you're in heaven. Dude, we have dessert? Yep. Asmalai, rasgulla, laddu, gulab jamun, barfi, all of fantastic stuff. It's all fantastic stuff. Right here we have the Ras Malai. This is my all-time favorite. It's like basically like milk balls soaking in milk. For breakfast. Yeah. It's the first time for me. Mm -hmm. And over here we have a bunch of different things, right? So we have gulab jamun. But this one has like a stuffing. Same thing with the rasgula. It's like filled. And then you have ladu. You have a bunch of different burfis. So burfis are like very thick, sugary pastries, right? And not pastries, um, desserts, right? Sweets. So many of them. Wow. What do we do? What do you want to try? You going with ladu? Perfect. Go. Good. Sweet? I'm sure it's good. Let me try it. Let me try this. Oh, nice and sticky. That's how you know it's so sweet. Mm-hmm. Whoa. It's too sweet. <laughs> and right here, we're going to break this guy up. So this is a different type of rasgula here. We'll have a little... It's like a rasgula, but it's like filled with like some white cream. Mm-hmm. It's like a rose gula, but like rose. 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 Two mm. layers. Mm -hmm. One is Whoa. pink, one is white. It's so delicious. Wow, that one was super delicious. Very, very decadent. Woo. And now we'll try a burfi. Mm. Which one do you recommend? Oh. All of them have different tastes. It's a burfi. Burfi of, of milk. Yeah. This is a milk burfi. So it's super nice and thick, right? Lots of sugar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sugar rush. <laughs> Woo, I feel amazing. I think we'll be running to the this airport. Pira, milk pira. Milk pira. Milk pira. Milk pira. Milk pira. Let's try it. Mm. Not as sweet. Crumbly. Dense. And there was an almond on top. Hey. Why not? So good. So this is gulab jamun with milk paste. I've never seen this before. Usually gulab jamun is like a nice, like almost like a donut, soaking in sugar syrup, right? In Pakistan, they always have it hot, very hot. But this is different. It's unique. Oh, it's like, oh, it's hard. You know what? That's milk? Yep. Mm, like a thick, like frozen milk. Mm. You have to, you have to, you have to. Really? The mm. best gulag jamun ever. Yeah. Mm. So good, right? So good. So we are done. We're going to have one last thing to end this whole meal. But you know what? I can't leave this beautiful egg. I mean, between the tomato, the onion, and the chili. It's amazing. But then you wrap it. Get a little bit of this parata, right? If I can, break it. Beautiful. Yeah. So you wrap it like that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, you know what? I love this sweet chili chutney. So my friends here are too kind. They're like, David, you have to try one more thing before you have the grand finale. And this is a walnut halva. Beautiful, super thick, it's hot. We have walnuts, we have almonds, and we have the halva. It is sweet, very decadent. Mm. Crumbly, sticky. Mm. And the walnuts. Oh, you guys have it. I would have this with the puri. For sure. Dude, this is the best halva. We're gonna have some pani puri next. Oh, wow, I'm full. <laughs> and that is a surprise. We're having a chat called pani puri, the number one street food in all of Pakistan, Bangladesh, and India, right here. This one looks amazing. So he has uh, some beautiful chickpeas mixed with uh, some cabbage, right? Some spices. Oh, and you're also gonna put the chili, right? 
Is that how we're gonna do? You're gonna build it for us? Perfect. This is how it always is, right? They build it for you. They fill it up with that nice mix of chickpeas. This one has some spices, some vegetables, and then he's gonna get this chili, beautiful, sweet chili chutney, and the raita, right? So it's gonna be a nice mix. So he's saying, I'm mixing in the water. Okay, so just like that. I just dip it, right? Just like dip it, drown it, and then quick. Mm. Wow, crazy combination. A little spicy, nice and sweet. The rider cools it down. I mean, the combination is out of control, man. This is an amazing pani puri. Amazing, amazing. I think what makes it is this mix, right? So you have onion, you have potato, you have your cucumber, a few different things in here in terms of masalas, right? Some nice spices. So you should fill it up like that. Then you go in and get the raita. It's like this, raita. Beautiful. Yes, this is the nice and sweet right there. Mm -hmm. And this is not pani puri without the pani. So that's the masala water. So you gotta mix it nice, fill it up, drown it. Basically, just drown it. How is it, Fantastic, yeah? Sour. It's a crazy combination. So to end this meal off, I'm gonna mix in this beautiful pani. Actually, I'm not just mixing it, I'm drinking it. If you wanna really flush out everything, drink this. Wow. One sip. <laughs> Done. Shukriya. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you it. Shukriya, shukriya. Shukriya. Thank you, Thank you. So, so how much do we owe you? How much? How much is? Nothing. It's for free. Nothing. That's our hospitality. This happened to me every single time in Pakistan. They didn't let me pay ever. Yes, you ever you're, too nice. ah, you're too nice. You're too nice. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank oh my gosh! You what an experience. Gift for you? A gift? Yep. No gifts. You crazy. Ah, oh, you're too kind. Thank you so much. You, Appreciate it. I'm coming back. I come back soon. Inshallah. Inshallah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you for sure. I will come back here for sure. For sure. Shukriya, shukriya. Let's do it. I think we just need one coffee, right? So we're gonna coffee. With all the sweets, this might be almost three to three and a half reals, almost ten dollars. Oh, okay. Yeah, almost ten dollars. And with the, with the sweets, it might go to twelve dollars or thirteen dollars maximum. So that's a deal for breakfast. Two people ate the whole menu. Well, we ate like half the menu, right? Plus we had sweets, which you shouldn't have those sweets for breakfast, but it's all good. It's really early in the morning. It's 9 a.m. now. <laughs> and we're driving through the Ru Rui neighborhood, right? We are in Rui neighborhood. Rui. And where's Rui? Rui is... This, we are all in Rui now. And? It's a big city. Mm -hmm. Near to Matra. Okay. A uh, city called Wadi Kabir. So if you guys don't know about Muscat, Muscat is the capital of Oman. Over 2 million people live here. 20% roughly Indian, Pakistani, Bangladeshi. Mutra, which we were yesterday at the market that is right there by the water. So we're a little more inland. You have mountains around us. You have a lot of high-rise buildings, a lot of mid-rise buildings. And over here, I guess a lot of government buildings as well, right? Yep. Yep. Banks, government buildings. We have also minister buildings here. And we're going for coffee at a place, a unique place, right? Yeah, we, we are going now to Al Amrat. Al Amrat. Yeah. Al Amrat is the neighborhood. Yes. Yeah, Al Amrat. Maximum road to 10 to 12 minutes destination from Rui to, to, to Al Amrat. Destination road is 12 minutes. Okay. Yeah, maximum. We're going to a special place for some coffee. Special coffee. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. I need coffee right now. <laughs> I'm asleep. The good thing, you know, I like masala chai, <laughs> but it doesn't wake you up. I need like 50 <laughs> cups. <laughs> and after a 20 minute drive, we're here at Coffeeologist and it's at our gas station. So Al Maha gas station right here is Coffeeologist. Okay, this is it? Nice, dude, this is great. So small coffee shop, and what do they have? Uh, just a mix of coffees, lattes. So here they have iced coffees, they have sweets, ice cream, hot coffee. I think I'm gonna get an iced coffee. What do you recommend? You've been here before, right? Yep. Okay, so maybe like a rose latte? You go for a rose latte? Or saffron. Saffron is nice. Saffron? Saffron is nice. Saffron latte. You want saffron latte cold or hot? Yeah, cold, cold. Cold. Oh, wow. It's amazing. Where is this from? It's called Shan from Myanmar. It's naturally Arabic. 
Okay, and it is notes with, noted with berries, cherry, and pineapple. Pretty cool process to make this saffron latte. So they put saffron like cream all over the glass, then they mix in the milk with saffron, then they make it hot, and then they put more milk, so cold and hot milk, then they add a shot of espresso, and that's it. Shukriya, or chokran. It was good, right? Oh, my friend here is too much. He's like, oh, you gotta try one of the cookies, they're really good. I'll try a cookie right now, though. Oh, I had so much food today. Mmm, it's nice, man. Mmm. Saffron with the milk. This is so unique. I've never had something like this. Mmm, wow. Very nice. And if you don't want the ice, they'll remove that. But for me, you know, it's hot outside. I need some ice. Wow, that's so nice. Saffron latte. Yep. It's the first time I try it. And then I'm gonna try a little cookie. Blueberry. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Nice and crumbly. Love the blueberry icing. Mm-hmm. Gotta lick it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh man. My friend, I am done. It was 7 a.m. at the Pakistani place. Yes. Amazing. Wow, Punjab sweets a must visit when you come to Muscat in the Rui neighborhood. You can get there five in the morning. You can have halva puri, you can have parata, you got chana, dad, raita, pani puri. I mean, we tried everything, yeah. burfi, gulab jamun. I mean, it was a non-stop, like flavor explosions. Yeah. Oh. Ending with the coffee. Ending with the coffee here at Coffeeologist. Awesome spot. So we drove only 20 minutes to get to here. Beautiful place, small boutique, you know, coffee shop right here next to this gas station. A must visit. And my friend, thank you so much, Hussein. Most welcome. Thank you for introducing me to that amazing Pakistani breakfast and to this coffee spot. Guys, I hope you love the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content and definitely try this saffron latte. Enjoy it. This is very nice. Woo! -hoo. Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from beautiful Muscat, Oman. Today I'm so excited because I'm here at a camel meat restaurant. Yes, this restaurant has no name. It is the number one camel meat restaurant in the city. Look at it, it says right behind me. We specialize in camel meat. So what does that mean? We're gonna have lots of camel, some rice, in an authentic setting. This place is packed right now. It's next to a mosque. And then after we eat, we're gonna go on a mini hike and we're going to a hot spring. My man, are you ready? I am extremely ready. I'm ready to have camel meat today again. Yes, I do the camel bones. Today we try the actual meat. Are you ready too? Ready. Let's sure, go. Ready. And first up, take off your shoes. Hopefully they're still here when we get back. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope so. I mean, if not, you gotta choose, man. Assalamu alaikum. All right, let's go. Assalamu alaikum. How are you doing? Oh, there it is. Nice. Hello, hello. In 30 minutes, like it's gonna be lunchtime for everyone. So this place is gonna get packed. So let's find out where exactly we wanna sit so that we book that place for us. And right when we walk in, you can see all the meat right here. So it's camel meat and rice, right? Wow, beautiful. So we have like four different variations of rice and we have lots of camel meat. Okay, so what is this? Camel meat. Oh yeah. Wow, the camel meat. Oh, that gravy. That aroma. Wow. Look at this. Oh man, that's amazing. Oh wow. Dude, I cannot wait to try this. So it's a camel meat and gravy. So is this like all the camel or a certain piece of the camel? All of this camel. There's absolutely nothing in here that is not camel. No, no, but is it which part part of the camel? The entire camel is there with its fat. Look at that. The fat piece right there? Yeah, you're gonna have fireworks in your mouth today. Guys, look at this. Look at the gravy. It's a nice, thick, brown gravy. Whoa, spices in here. I see some black pepper. 
lots of fat, big chunks of camel. Huge chunks of camel. Like, just pull out. Woo! That's good. I'm ready. I cannot wait. <laughs> My man, that is amazing. I cannot wait for the camel. The camel is going to be so good. Nas, back on. Let's go. So, uh, me, we have almost four or five kinds of rice. So, um, each one tastes different. Like, for example, this is white rice with a little bit of cardamom, with some raisins and the camel fat. This one is different. It's tabouli rice, similar to the one that we had the other day with the uh, lamb. But this one is incorporated with the camel fat. I think they use camel fat in all, making all of the rices to put some of that camel flavor into the rice. And it also makes it very moist, right? Exactly. Moist, fatty, extremely heavy. After you're done with this meal, I doubt you can do anything. Well, we're going hiking after this. These three, they're not like really typical of what we have with the camel meat. Usually we have either the tabouli rice or the white rice, but some people prefer other options. They have these options. They have the machbus, they have the Serbian, and they have the Kuwaiti machbus kind of rice. Okay. Yeah? So they're made in different spices kind of. Like you see, like the colors are different, yeah? So it does, there's a lot more turmeric over here. This is probably made with some tomatoes. Yeah, and this one is, is almost white rice with some saffron with a little bit of uh, turmeric but, and onions as well. This mixed with rice, oh, it's going to be bomba clot. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a dry caramel, so it's just like fried with onions and some spices. And it's fried by its own, nothing else is added. Just those spices, some salt, and its own fat. So that's like a camel fry, almost. Yeah. Oh wow, look at this, a huge camel bone. Okay, so what are the differences between these? Oh yeah, so this is just a camel soup. They use the bones with left over to okay. make it. Okay, this is made with onions. This is just made with salt, so like they fry it for a long time. And that one is with vegetables. Man, those chunky, big cubes of fat? Yep. It's gonna be the best. You wanna try one now? Oh, I'll try that one right there. Man, it's super dense. Here we go. Wow. Very dense, still very jello-ish, right? Mmm, but all oh, the juices of the fat. Wow. That's a meat now. Mmm, but I think that, mix with some rice, a little bit of gravy, perfect. It'll be perfect. Mmm, tell me, it's way more gamey, very lean. It, you get used to it with time, it's just because like... Oh my gosh, what are we trying here? <laughs> That's the one with the vegetables. The one with the vegetables, huh? Oh yeah, it's almost like a camel stir fry. Yep. Ooh, the hot chili. <laughs> All right, now I need some. You, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, this this guy's too much. He wants me to try everything right here. Mm. The stir fry is the best. I'm sure this is gonna be amazing. Let's go. Let's try it all. Wow, it's a lot of rice. It's a good amount of rice, man. And he's grabbing all the camel meat and putting it on top. Wow, and some of the gravy is just leaking into the, into the rice. It's amazing. Now we're going to put like a bit of everything in rice. Here, like that, okay? Salt, salt, white rice. Perfect. So we're getting a mix of rices. It's going to be very colorful. And one last one. This video is amazing. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. That's a stir fry. So we got four different camel, five different rices. Yep. And we're gonna try all of them. This is gonna be amazing. This is like the ultimate camel feast. Yes. Chokran, chokran. I already drank it. Yeah. yeah. Woo. Look at that. All right, my men. How do we do this? So we just start. <laughs> <laughs> I know you want to start. This guy's the the, the foodie. <laughs> no, he just eats I everything. It was full like five minutes ago, man. I know, right? <laughs> Suddenly, all of this, and he's hungry. <laughs> okay, so we have five rices. We have uh, four different camel meats. We have the the camel broth, right? And then over here, we have a mixed salad. Let's begin. Let's try things out one after the other. How, how do you okay. feel about that? Sounds yeah. good. So um, let's start. Let's start with like literally the camel and the salt, and that's it. This one? Yep. Okay. So we'll try it. Yep. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of fat in here too, so it's a mix of things, right? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> this guy's not waiting, man. <laughs> mm hmm. How was it? Mm hmm. So it makes it tender. Got some fat. A little chewy, but it's very lean. Mm hmm. 
Fish are tasty, and there's not a lot of um. Salt. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste bad. No, at all. Mm -hmm. No, but obviously you're going to need some water. So we'll get water because yeah, they're going to be very, very parched. But. Mm -hmm. And then this one has gravy, right? So this one is just salt, gravy. That's a stir fry one. Yep. And then this one has onions. Onions, yeah. You want to try the onions now? Yeah, try the onions, right? So we'll just get in here, get a piece of onion, right? With some camel. Oh, beautiful. This is going to be great. I'm so excited, man. Right. Straight camel meat. Again. Bam, bam. That's good. Mm hmm. Mm. Nice red onion. Mm hmm. You got a sweetness of the onion. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. That one's a little softer. Might have been like a slower cooked, this one. I still like that one better, to be honest. Yeah? That one was just so, just so, I don't know, it brings out the flavor is kind of better for me. Okay. There's nothing that distracts you from the camel. Exactly. I mean, that's pure camel. This yep. one, you have the combination with the onion. I mean, for me, it's a little tastier, a little sweeter, yep. right? And I think this is going to be the best one. Personally, I think so. Just yeah. like soak it in the gravy, right? Just like that. That's the signature. Yeah, man. Basically, it's like a camel curry. I mean, in India, that's what you would call it. Yeah. A camel curry. Wow. Wow. But we haven't even touched the rice yet, but I it guess we'll... Taste the cardamom in it. Yeah, yeah. Taste the cardamom. I mean, it's a nice, like, round, little thick gravy. And over here, we have the, basically, the stir fry, right? So you have some bell peppers. You got some onions, and you have a chili in there. It almost looks like the shark from yesterday, the ceviche. Yeah, that's true. Very similar look. Yeah, there's not a lot of um, liquid in there, though, so that's good. It's not gravy. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. With the bell pepper. Very nice. Yeah, it just gives it a very um, m more earthy feel, this one. So uh, now we're going to start eating it with the rice. We're putting all the camel on the rice. We're going to start digging in. Looks amazing, actually. All that camel. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Hold on. Man. That's amazing. What a feast, bro. I guess we have to try the broth, right? Yeah, uh, try this out. Really good. Wow. Oh, so good. Yeah, that's going to go really well. The with flavor. Mmm. Just drop that in there, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. If, you, if you're supposed to do it, do it. You can, of course. Not all of it. Not all of it, yeah, yeah. Just make some of that moist, right? Yeah. All right. That broth is insane. It is. That it's broth is so good. Super nice. We're waiting on the tomato sauce, but we can dig in until that comes in. Okay. So we'll just go in here and grab some? Yeah, um, you want to grab any onions, you want to put anything in there. Oh, whatever you think. And fill it with your hands. Okay. Including the meat. I had a chili earlier, it's still hurting me. <laughs> uh, okay, so to begin with, I grab some fat. Some fat? Yeah, I like... Say that? Um, try it, try it. It's like bacon. <laughs> so it feels, really? yeah, man. I mean, I don't know. Obviously, right. obviously, you guys haven't had it, but it's the same concept. Super fatty, right? Super nice. I mean, just like Jello and poof. Wow, so many juices flowed out of it. There we go. That's the chutney. So what's this? Uh, this is the sauce too, like on the side. All right. David, before we get started, I don't think we can get started without having Hussein try the fat. He's never had it before. Okay, eat the fat. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Oh. Not, like, no, 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 no. There you go. That's like that's like a crispy onion, dude. Let's do it. You've already tried it. <laughs> hey, he doesn't like it. <laughs> Just mix it in. Mix it that. Mmm, this looks so good. Onions. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. You want some? Oh, yeah. So it's like a tomato, almost like a tomato salsa. That's what it looks like, right? Mm hmm. I'm gonna get some of this. So here we have the mix of all the different camel pieces, right? Yep. Everything mixed. Literally, just pick up what you like. I'm gonna get some of these. Mmm. The tomato sauce is very light. Oh yeah. It has a nice flavor to the food. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
Good, man. Onion? Oh, but the best one's the gravy. The gravy one is awesome, yeah. It's so different. I mean, just having that rich gravy throughout, it's basically like soaked in it, you know? I love this room, right? So it's a basic communal dining here. Everybody's on the floor. Everybody's taking the space, you know, in corners. Everybody's enjoying their food the same way we are, right? Yep. I remember you're gonna try all the kind of rice over there. Mm-hmm. Over here. Mm. Mm. Oh wow. Shift change. Mmm. Oh, that's that one. Mm. Mm hmm. And all this rice has camel fat throughout. There's gonna get some of this on top, right? Yeah, you can tell there's a lot of fat in there. You can tell. You can tell. Super nice and moist. And the best thing to do is just mix things, break it up a little bit, right? Honestly, for me. Just drop in the broth. Yeah. My chili. Mmm. Of course, not the entire thing though. <laughs> I like it. Enjoy it. Yeah, it's good. That one wasn't hot. Dude, like, yeah. You do that, and then sometimes it's not hot, and then you're like, yo, I have just had a chili, and then the next one you have. Hey, it's like murder. Yeah, it literally murders you. So you guys do that, right? You use yeah. the, the palm, like the whole thing? Yeah. Huh? Mm. Mm hmm. Oh, this rice is really nice. Mm. This rice is awesome. I don't even know what the difference is, but it's good. So, I always cook the tomato. Grab the rice with your fingers without having it on your palm, and then use your thumb to push it into your mouth. Oh, I know this, dude. I know. And then, uh, okay, okay. I just didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> no, no, actually, it actually looks like my palm is relatively clean. But, like, I think we got used to it, so that that's why, maybe. Mm -hmm. mm. It's good, right? It's super tasty. Wow, amazing. So now you guys added the broth and the salad. Yeah. Now we're going for the full on food experience. I'm at your back. back. <laughs> Very good. You ready to eat? Of course. I'm always ready, man. I was ready. Completely done. That's it. Yeah. Done and destroyed. I'm extremely full. Me too. Wow, I that's a that's a really filling meal. Yeah, Absolutely right. cannot. That's it. <laughs> so once you finish eating, the guy comes up and he picks everything up, and that's why they do that. So they don't get this carpet or this rug dirty at all. Obviously, so there'll be probably some grains here and there. They'll clean it, but at least everything stays in one side or one section on the plastic, right? And uh, the best thing about this place is we have pillows so we can just like lay down, vegetate, and let our body... Uh, I'm about to sleep right here, right now. I know. That's it. It's so good. That's it. No food for two more days. <laughs> Sorry about that. We're going to do the hike and then see how we feel after that. Let's go. And look at this. Look how many shoes there are. All sandals. Where's mine? Oh, they're over here. This is like impossible. <laughs> Look how many there are. You found yours. <laughs> I know, I need a hike. Because if not, I would be jumping in bed. So it's a place called Awabi. It's basically in Muscat, located in Gala area. And as you can see, it's very natural. The road itself, it's between mountains. And uh, although you are in the capital, but you will feel that you are outside of Muscat, outside of the capital. And you will enjoy the view. I mean, guys, look at this. This feels like a whole different planet right now. This is real Oman, right? Outside of the city, no buildings, no skyscrapers, nothing. Just beautiful mountains. Very rocky, very desert terrain, right? Very dry right now. Oh, guys, see this. Wow. Okay, so guys, remember when you come on this hike, you have to bring a bathing suit if you want to go in the water. So unfortunately, I forgot to change at the restaurant, so I changed in the car, and that's it. 
That's it. Ready to go. Oh. So it's like a small village here, and then we're hiking up this way. Exactly. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Dude, it feels like I'm in Africa somewhere. You know, <laughs> this does not feel like Oman. Yeah, exactly. Oh, <laughs> so different. This is like the real Oman. This is a real natural Oman. Wow. As you can see, the majority of our places, they are having mountains. Beneath the mountain, we have the wadi or the valley, and uh, most of them they are having this. We call it the fallage, it's a water channel. Uh, our grand grand grandfather established this, and uh, basically, it will take the water from the upstream to the low stream. And people were just building houses here, farms, maybe some goats, animals. So, this is not the sewer system, this is just for irrigation, right? So, they use all this water for their farmland. That's basically it, right? Wow, oh, birds. Beautiful. Gotta be careful here, huh? Yeah. Oh, so it's a 15 minute hike through this. Maybe less than that. Less than that. Yeah. I'm, I'm just maybe fast or something light. Especially after that long, heavy meal. Yeah. You feel like, oh, I need to walk it off right now. Yeah, where's, where's the oh. So we're basically walking through people's properties, right? Yeah. And over here, it's a bunch of palm trees. Exactly. It's the private properties. For those the climb of these rocks? Yeah, we can go throw up here. Okay, yeah, yeah let's do it. And there is an easier way. No, I mean, this is amazing. Look, and the temperature just dropped like 10 degrees in here. It just feels so cool, right? All the water coming through here, the air. Ah, oh, nice breeze. There's nothing, nothing, no factories, no cars, nothing? Nothing. No noise pollution, just animals. Beautiful. Let's go. Those rocks were really, really intense. <laughs> With sandals, not recommended. It's easier this way. Still very rocky, but doable. Whoa, slippery rocks, huh? Try to figure it out. Oh. Here we are. This is a secret. Wow. Okay. Secret, huh? Um. Secret spring here. Very natural. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at this, my friends. You know what's coming through that? All right, guys, so please be careful. There's a lot of sharp rocks around here. I just like literally ran my head into the rocks just walking around, but it's okay. I'm fine. All right, I'm gonna take everything off. We're going GoPro. Yeah. Let's go. All right, let's go. See you in a bit. Do it. Wheel. Oh. It was amazing. Oh, man. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let me, let me like jump. Ah, oh, I'll jump with it. I'm gonna get through here. Oh, luckily I didn't hit this head too hard. A little bit of blood, but I'm good, I'm good. It's deep, right? <laughs> I think I'm gonna jump. Into the middle. Right there. It's right there? Nope. Yalla, yalla. Look at this. I got the sun so this is your leg from bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Clean your leg. Clean your feet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, amazing. <laughs> the water is very warm. It's warm, huh? Yeah. It's your heart's breaking. It's possible that whole time. Oh, gosh. Well, you should see it, it will be. Oh, it's hot. It's so nice. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Wow, that's your own private pool. I'm gonna turn this off, I'm gonna relax. <laughs> <laughs> so right here we have a very small fish. And if you put your feet in the water, they clean your skin. Yeah, I've seen this in Thailand, you pay for it. It's like a fish tank, you just put your feet in, and it's like... <laughs> Look at that, look at that, how you sucks. You don't like it? No, I will not try it. I hate it, I hate small fishes. <laughs> I like camel on me. All right guys, last jump, let's do it. Woo! And that is it my friends. We went to the best camel restaurant in Muscat. What an experience there. Most delicious camel meat of all time. And we came on this beautiful hike. To end the spring, and that's it. If you love this video, just give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content, and 
Wow, the fish are starting to eat my feet. They're taking all the skin. Look, 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 look. Ah! What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Bin here coming at you from beautiful Muscat, Oman. Tonight I'm here in the Amanat neighborhood and I'm gonna take you to eat traditional Omani street food. What is that? We're gonna have mishakik. Mishakik is skewers, big chunks of meat, right? You got meat, you have chicken, you even have pigeon, and we're gonna have some burgers, probably some corn on the cob, lots of different vendors here. I think there's like 15 of them as I can see right now. Some of them are starting up. You see the grills, the smoke, Others are starting in a few hours, right? It's still early. It's 6.30 right now. Very good. So what is this place? So this is basically like the street food, you know? Uh, the street food street, I would say. All locals come here in their cars and order pickup or sit down in the uh, hut or in the hut itself, you know, and eat and enjoy the street food. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. So we have here some beef right here. We have some shrimps right here being cooked and grilled and also some squid. Oh, I didn't know that. So we have seafood. Awesome. So seafood, we got some beef. Super thin, right? Very easy, quick bites. The good thing is we're going to have a few here. Go to the next spot. Go to the next spot. Just keep going over and over and over. Right. And everybody does it a little differently, right? So spices here is like salt and pepper, but obviously huge influence from India. Centuries uh, spice trade, right? So they have garam masala, they have other spices. Mix it all together to create that unique spice and the unique uh, taste of the mishkak. And these beef mishakiks, yeah. um, mishakik is the plural, yes. right? So how do you say one? Mishkak. Mishkak, yeah. mishkak. Okay, yeah. so yeah. a mishkak here, a beef mishkak is a, a chunk of beef, then fat, chunk of beef, fat. So you also have that fat layer, right? Yes, you have the fat layer to put the juiciness inside the mishkak itself. This looks amazing. Yeah, it All tastes right. amazing also. I need to try everything. Definitely. Give Definitely. me a little bit of everything. Definitely. We'll I'll probably just, full package. Let's start with the, the beef here. All right. Maybe this one, which is uh, that squid? Yeah. Oh, wow. It looks like pineapple from here, man. <laughs> it's like so. Yeah, it's like turmeric on it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the way it works here, you can buy one, you can buy 50. Each one is 200. 200 right now. So one is like three US dollars or 2.5, right? Yes. So the 200 is like 70 cents. <laughs> yes, exactly. Right? So David, as you can see here, he dipped it in a sauce, the tamarind sauce, with some uh, spicy spices and chili mix. All right, let me get this. So this beef, right? Yeah. Beautiful, look at that. Yeah. Chili spices. Mm-hmm. Mm. A little sweet, a little spicy. Mm. Nice tender beef. Super tender. Oh. Mm. Oh, the combination. I mm -hmm. told you. Oh, the fat. Oh my God. Cheers, bro. Cheers, guys. Cheers. We're having a blast here. The aroma is so nice, and the taste is just a blast in your mouth. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I feel the spice now. Right? You feel it? Nice chili, yeah. yeah. It was a little sweet, the spicy, juicy, tender, and smoky. I'm in the smoke. <laughs> wow, so good. You can smell the aroma, so tasty. Wow, so what else should we try? Squid? That was the squid's good? Yeah, squid. Alright, so we'll try squid. I love it in the back, in the fire, this is the best. This is incredible. So many little street food vendors everywhere. So I do count like 15 right now. But only like four or five are actually working. I think the next one we're gonna go to is Cholo Burger. So we're gonna have a few of these, then we're gonna Cholo Burger. Dude, I think we should try the squid and maybe the shrimp. Oh, let me see it again. Oh yeah, spicy like that. Oh, you're like drenching it. Mm -hmm. The same tamarind chili. So it's tamarind and chili, right? Oh, oh this squid's great. Mm -hmm. It's not too rubbery. Mm -hmm. Cooked just right. Mm -hmm. This piece is stuck. Mm. Amazing. My man. Mohammed. Amazing, amazing stuff. So this this place is called Street Burger. Street and Burger. And their speciality is uh, burgers mixed with Cheetos. So and Street Burger with double E. Like it. Yeah. Good food, good people, good times. Life's too short for anything else. Exactly. exactly. So we're going to do a burger right now. What's up, man? Ready for the burger? Yeah? All right, we're going to the back. See how they make this burger. 
All right, the burger. Where's the burger at? So he's cutting up the beef right here and making it like minced meat, right? And then he also has the burger. And over there he's frying something else. So he prepared the bun already. He added a few different things. Cheese, uh, jalapeno, I think it is. Looks like mayo and a piece of lettuce, right? The fries are dynamite fries. Dynamite fries. Yeah, so what they do is, see, just put that uh, mixed beef in there with the sauce and with the fries with some jalapenos and that's the di basic dynamite fries. Okay? Dynamite fries, but we're gonna try this incredible burger. Let's go. Let's go. Here you go. All right, <laughs> man, let's go. Let's do it, let's do it. See this beauty? I know, I know, it's too good. All right, here we go, All the right, burger. Man. So what's the name of this burger? That's the Cheetos burger. Cheetos burger. This is their specialty here. Look at this, guys. So you got the bun, you have a jalapeno, you have a red sauce, you have the burger, you have cheese, and you have some lettuce. You ready for this bite? Yeah, let's go. All right, hold on. Let me let me unwrap this guy. I don't want to eat any paper. Right. Oh, nice bun. Cheers, bro. Cheers, bro. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's nice. Mm -hmm. Nice fluffy bun. Mm -hmm. Lots of flavor in here. Mm. Mm. Juicy burger. I like the Cheetos uh, touch to it. Mm -hmm. Mmm. <laughs> it's crunchy. Mm-hmm. You know, it does remind me of an American burger. Nice and juicy. Oh it's my god. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Today That's for me? Another one? This guy doesn't stop feeding me. Okay? So this one's gonna be awesome. This is an incredible shrimp. Are they shrimp? Are they prawns? I don't know right now. Let's see. Right here in the fire. And he, he said, like, we don't really have to have the shell. Let's see. Great, guys. They're drenched in that sauce. Mmm. I love your secret sauce. That tamarind with spice. All right. This whole thing. Uh -huh. mm. It's not bad. Mmm, we need the whole thing. Would you take the head out? Mmm. It's not a bad addition. Mmm. Mmm, I like it. They're actually crunchier. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sometimes you can eat the, the shrimp with everything. Yeah. Wow, this is the first time I tried it with a shell on. Mm hmm. Wow. You, you can notice it's much more chillier mm -hmm. than the beef. Mm hmm. Nice and sucky, though. Mmm, so meaty. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm hmm I love charcoal. Charcoal, that smoke. Mmm, way better than propane. You hear that, Vaz? <laughs> Film this guy, he just eats. It's an animal. <laughs> yeah. Just go and eat. Walk and eat. So the total price was 3.5 reals. That's approximately $8. Yeah, eight, $10 to be exact. So how much for a misha? So for one mishkak is half a dollar, and the burger was six to five dollars. I highly recommend coming here, trying everything they got. Maybe having just ten for five bucks, you eat ten. ten That's exactly. incredible. Shukran, appreciate it. What is this guy doing? He's doing a corn on the charcoal. Hello. Corn on a cob. It's dynamite mishkak. It's basically the dynamite fries mixed with the mishkak pieces itself, with the tamarind sauce. This is something wonderful you'd like to try. Get one of those and let's get one of these. Yeah. We have to. And this place is called City Burger. All right, we're going to the back to see how they cook some dynamite fries. Mohammed, City Burger. And here he has a big pot of oil boiling, boiling. He's gonna just drop in the fries. I'm ready for that. All right, so the fries are almost done and we are ready to go to build them. All right, so he's plating the fries. That's mayo, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Next up, the mishkak. So it's the fries, he put mayo, then he added the mishkak, and now he's gonna add chips and tamarind sauce. Yes. Wow, so he's gonna make it a little sweet, a little sweet. So some cheese. Yeah, he's nuking it 20 seconds for the cheese. He just needs the cheese to melt on top. All right guys, we're going down to the front to go eat this fries. So it's cheesy and it's filled with tamarind sauce. We got the beef, ooh, it's hot, right? Yeah. It's boiling actually, how cheesy it is. Mm-hmm. Mm. I love the tamarind. Yeah. And the, and the fries are like literally melting because of the cheese, you know? Mm -hmm. Do it, bro. Fit it up. Tamarind all day. <laughs> I love the sweetness of tamarind. Yeah, man. And it's not like crazy sweet, it's just perfect. The beef chunks, the tamarind, the heat, the cheese is melted throughout. Mm. It's like a nice gravy. 
Good? Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fry guy, but like this, let's do it. <laughs> All the way, baby. Mmm. I mean, the creaminess, right? And the tamarind just adds that layer of, you know, spiciness and, and, and I would say a little bit sugary. Mm hmm. Feeling the spice now. Mm -hmm. Spice is like creeping up, right? It's like a back burner spice. Okay. Just gonna get the last little bit in the bottom, but this, the tamarind, the cheese, it's like literally. <laughs> The fries have been like melted. I'm done with that. Now we still got corn, right? I was stuck up. Alright, we're going back into the back to see him cut up the corn. So we're adding some salt. Next up we have some chili powder. What is it? Lemon juice? Yep. Beautiful. So he's gonna soak it in. I'm guessing he's gonna throw in a tamarind sauce as well. Chop, chop, chop. I hate saying it, but here we should just eat this. Oh, this is it. Just dip it, soak it up in the chili. And we're gonna eat it straight in the kitchen because why not? Why not? Let's go, let's go. Cheers, bro. Yeah, cheers. Mm hmm. Mm. That's spicy, man. Mm. It's been a while. Spicy. Mmm. Wow. Very spicy. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Got chili, you have salt, you have a tamarind. Too spicy. That's spicy. It's not that bad, guys. <laughs> that being the spiciest corn I ever had in my life. My friend, very nice. Very nice. Not bad. Look at my lips. Look how red they are. When I have corn in my teeth? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot. Good man. <laughs> I mean, you put way too much chili powder. Choke it on. Choke it on. You're wild, dude. You're wild. Bro, I need a break. From spice. Oh. So this will be six dollars exactly. It's one corn and one, one fries. fries. Perfect. One dynamite mishkak. One dynamite mishkak. And now we're gonna cross over to Mars Burger right there. Right, we're gonna go to Mars Burger to see the different type of mishkak and something else. Let's see. Thanks guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Alright. Order and take two pills before sleep. sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. So you have the Mercedes uh, CLK, I think it's a CLK. You have the grill on top, you have the corn, and now they're gonna put the mishkak. Yeah, you see, the ship is part of the marketing. And they're uh, actually doing good. This is awesome. Look at this. I mean, it definitely attracts people, right? Definitely. They're saying they're confident everything in here will cook, they will, it will pass and go. So he filled up the whole thing for us. Yes. The whole grill. Wow, guys, look at all the skewers. So what do we have just beef? It's all beef or it's a mix? We're not having burgers, we're having mishkak. Oh, look at this. This is the best. I think this might be the tastiest of them all because of the chunks of beef. They also have some chili flakes. I can see some chilies. That is awesome. You have some fat. So beef, fat, beef, fat, all beef basically, right? So turn them like this. Nice. Oh, I did a good job, finally. I did it before, it was horrible. <laughs> Oh, look at nice and charred. Oh, my man. I love Omani Mishkak. Oh, Mishkak Omani. Mishkak Omani. I'm ready? Yes. It's going to be spicy, this one, right? <laughs> oh, right there, guys. Oh, yeah, I'm getting the aroma. Oh. Want to try it with me? Right here. All right, let's just do this. You ready? Ready. Our friend was saying disappeared. It's okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. This is the best one. The best one. Juiciest one. Super chunky. Mm. Not too spicy. Mm -hmm. That marinade. I can taste more of the tamarind mm -hmm. than the other ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. You guys do a lot of tamarind here, and huh? Black pepper as well. Uh huh. Mm. That's good, man. It's the best one. Yeah, I like it. Dude, he's wild. He's literally flipping the corns with his hands, and they're directly on the coals. Directly. This guy's nutty. Nutty. This place is packed, huh? Lots of cars. $5 for six, the best ones. So like basically for $10, you get really, really full if you eat 12. Yeah, exactly. One person, 12, that's a lot. 
And they also have burgers, obviously. Look, burgers in the back. They have corn and fries. And our last stop today is Cholo Burger. Ready to go? I'm excited. So you have Mishkak right here, but we're gonna do some, uh, I think a burger, right? Or what? Go into another kitchen. We're gonna see how they make the burger. So this is more of a traditional burger, but obviously it has the tamarind sauce. And here we go. Hey, how you doing? All right, so this is like another mayo, right? Lots of mayo on these burgers. So a little bit of lettuce, okay. a little onion. So the burger's cooked right here on the grill. These guys live in the smoke. They live in it. Woo! And that is it. So the burger is ready. So he's gonna cut it in half now. Perfect, yeah. Two people eating, right? That is it. Are you ready for this? I am ready. So the burger, let's go. Cholo burger. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can understand. All right. It's good. All right. Yeah, yeah. It's different than the other one, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, I love the fluffy bun. Mm. The bun is so soft that it's mixing with the lamb really good. Mm-hmm. I'll take another one. Wow. So the mayo. You got the onion. Mm-hmm. Lettuce. The same basically, right? They didn't add any spice and they didn't put tamarind in this one. Tamarind all the way. Tamarind included in everything. It's a good burger. I'm full. Are you? I'm good? I'm about to be. Well, we over ate. No, right? <laughs> no, we're good, we're good. Oh yeah. That's it. Miss cotton burgers. Now I got a pop belly. <laughs> So what's the total price? So the total price is one real, which is $2.5. $2.5 for that burger. For the Cholo burger. That's incredible. Yep. And that's it, my friends. We did it. Omani street food in the area of? Amirat. Amirat, Amirat. So Mishkak, we had burgers, we had corn. What else do we have? Dynamite uh, Mishkak fries. Dynamite Mishkak fries. Oh, yes. and that's basically it. That, that's what it is, right? Right, right. Amazing. I, I, I hope oh. you liked it, man. Dude, I feel like I overate, <laughs> but I'm good. And one extra. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Omani Street Food here in Muscat. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. And this guy's going wild. Yo, good morning. Uh, good morning. <laughs> the fire. I feel like I'm food drunk right now, food coma. Full, full drunk from the aroma of the mishkak. Yeah, and the belly's full. <laughs> oh. Assalamu alaikum everyone, I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful, sunny Muscat, Oman. Today I'm super pumped because I'm taking you to eat at three famous places you have to eat at in Muscat. Yo, my man, how you guys doing? Good, you're doing good. good. Yeah. So first, we're starting off with Hussein's favorite breakfast place. Yeah. He swears it's the best here, so we're gonna try that out. <laughs> so the second place is gonna be a cafe. It's a local cafe, serves very good food. We're gonna try that out. The third one, um, should we leave it as a surprise? Yeah, no, maybe. Um, the third place is gonna be, we're gonna go through the entire process of cooking up some delicious Omani food. So, check it out. Let's go. Let's go. So this is it, right? Cheese and jam. Hello. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. This is another coffee shop, right? Yeah. Very small joint, and this is how it is here in Muscat. Small yeah. coffee shops, you have like two, three tables, you have, you know, sodas, water, lots of snacks, and we're gonna have some sandwiches. Salam alaikum. How you guys doing, good? Yeah. This is a regular sandwich, or what are we doing? So he's doing now a cheese sandwich with the, with the butter, and also he's having another portion of jam with the cheese combination. Yeah. I guess we'll have one. Yeah, we'll have maybe more than one. More than one, <laughs> no, I need just one, one for me. <laughs> So the sandwich is gonna be very fluffy, very airy. He puts four pieces of bread. So it's basically a double sandwich cut into four. This one's cut in half, the other one's cut into four. So we're having three like this, right? Okay, okay. looks good, looks good. And this is it, breakfast. All right. Breakfast of champions here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good first meal for the day. Exactly, so this one has chips. It's cut in, in fours, this one's cut in fours as well. It's cut in twos and it's like double sandwich. 
devil's sandwich, yeah. Okay. Um, looks like a lot for two people, man. It, it's a lot, it's a lot. Let's just try this one first. Let's go. Look at that, all the chips. People on the way to work come here, grab a sandwich, grab a karak chai, and that's it, right? Yep. And they go. And you also have some spice? Of course. Why not? You gotta have some. Oh, <laughs> you're overdoing it, dude. Mmm. <laughs> Worth a try for me? Mm hmm. I think so. Of course. And with the spice, right? Mmm. I think some more spice. Yeah, this is like a. This is almost like Cristal, this one. Yeah. Mmm. Let's go. Mmm. 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 It's fluffy, crunchy. The chip aspect is something very different. Here in Omani, I love throwing Omani chips, right? Yep. Mmm. Omani chips is everywhere, man. Omani chips? Mm -hmm. In every, everything, right? You have to put it in sandwiches. In shawarmas. In shawarmas. It's supposed to be in shampoos. You're doing your shampoo too? <laughs> <laughs> That's weird, man. I guess we'll try a different one. What, what's next? Maybe this one with eggs? Yeah, let's do that. Ooh, eggs. Just gonna add some spice. Always oh, right. We need a little bit of this heat. Yep, you need that. Mmm. Mmm. Hard boiled egg. It's nicer. It's only one bread. Well, two breads. I think there's butter in there. Mm -hmm. Of course. Of course, there has to be, right? Yep. <laughs> it's called butter and jam. It's called butter and jam. Yeah. And then what are these? I mean, they're different? This is cheese. That's cheese in this one? Butter, uh, cheese and jam. Cheese and jam, you know what? I'm gonna go with cheese and jam just because that's the name of the place, right? Cheese and jam. Definitely no hot sauce. Mmm. This is super sweet. Yep. The jam, the cheese, butter in here as well. Yeah, it's butter, cheese, jam. It's really good. And this one's just butter? Butter and cheese. Butter and cheese. Personally, I think they should throw it into like a panini press. That is true. You know? Mmm. Mmm. Is the cheese one? Over a little butter here. Yeah? Yeah. Too much? I'm gonna do something a little crazy, but why not? I need some spice with this one. It's just, it it mm -hmm. feels just way too fatty for me. Yep, I'm not a big butter guy. Mmm? <laughs> Enjoying it? How do you rate this favorite breakfast place? From 10? Nah, maybe a 1. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> it's good, you know, it's, it's unique, it's different. It's a little sandwich spot, right? With some coffee. From 6 a.m., you can come at 7 or 7.30, you're gonna grab your sandwich, your chai, and just leave to the office. And that's it, my friends. Toast, cheese, jam, chips. Some chai. Mmm, this is amazing chai. By the way, guys, really good chai. The karak? It's really, really nice, yeah. It's nice. You gotta give it a shot then. One year, 200. Basically, three US dollars for everything we ate. Yeah. It's good. Chokran. Take care, guys. Take care. Thank you so much. Thank you. Where are we right now in Muscat? We are near to an Alam Palace. Okay. And Ministry of Defense. So that's the ministry right there? Yeah. Uh, yeah, because literally in front of us we have a little rock formation. We have a castle over here. This is the Ministry of Defense. And this is Cheese and Jam, right? And if you guys didn't see, lots of cars here. And the reason for that is because it's a takeaway. They literally just wait in their car. The guys come outside. The waiters, they come outside, take their order, go back. They make it. They come out. They deliver. That's it, right? Omani fast food at its finest. All right, let's go. Right? How do you do it? How are you? Amazing, How amazing. You? I am Sanjuice. Yeah, amazing. Loved okay. it. Thank you so much. Chokran. Thank you. Chokran. So that was the old city of Matra. Yeah, um, old city of Muscat as well, we call it. Um, back in the day when the Portuguese were here, yeah. So that was the main area where the Omanis lived. And that's like 500 years ago. So it's been there for a long time. And like, even if you notice the architecture, it's a lot different than what you see outside of Matra. So that is the old city right now. It's just basically, you know, official buildings, military palace. That's what you have there. And as you exit right here, you have the Cornish. So you have the boardwalk, you have the waterway, right? And over there we have a cruise ship. And this is it. Let's get going. So after a 20 minute drive, we're here at Dukana Cafe. So this is a 
famous breakfast spot. We're here for brunch, roughly noon. And uh, hello, hello. Assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum. How's everything, good? Hello. All right, very good. I'm very excited. He's told me so many good things. I think we need a coffee to start. Yes. So um, they were heating up the coffee, but they do it on sand, not directly exposed to fire. So I don't know how that's going to taste like. Last time I tried something like that was in the desert. And it was bread on, on, on like sand, cooked on sand and rocks. This is good. Let's try this one here. Okay. Yeah, it's almost like a mud coffee. That I've seen this in India. It's like, yeah, it's in the sand. I just push it in the sand and it heats up from the bottom. Yep. Here we have the kawa. So, what is kawa coffee? Light roasted, looks green, has a lot of cardamom. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's amazing. It lifts you up, right? And this is a traditional Omani house, you know, mud style, very beautiful, very nice beams on top, all wood. And then the tables, this one, the chair, it's like a, like a bicycle, right? They use the bicycle, right? You got the pedals down here. It's amazing. Dude, this place is great. Yeah. So for brunch, we're having their traditional breakfast. It's a mix of everything. And we're going to see them make it for us. So we can tell them what we want, what we don't want. So that's, that's a good thing. On top of that, we're gonna have some like a bit of sweets and a bit of sides. Um, we have suevia, we have chabisa. Uh, we're having a coffee right now, but we're gonna have a lot more coffee later as well. I'm excited. It looks good. I love this coffee. I don't know. Some cultures you're not allowed to serve yourself. You know? Really? Yeah. What but this cultures? Is, well, like in Japan, you can't serve yourself a sake. They have to serve it for you. you know? So you have like if you want to have it at home, you gotta wait for someone to get it. Oh, you get a robot. Really? Well, a robot makes sense if it's a bad. Well, luckily here, I can drink as much coffee as I want. And right here we have some dates, right? Nice. Sweet, of course, always. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Nice and chunky. Very good. Check this out. Well, this setting you see over here, this is like a traditional kind of Omani mud house kind of setting. Like back in the day, they would build things out of mud and that keeps the heat away and also keeps the cold away in the winter. So it works out really nice, um, as you can see over there. Like some of the traditional stuff that we had back in the day. Um, like yeah. You're already introduced to the coffee thing, right? Like the mug that we serve the coffee with. It's extremely different than any other places, but it looks good and the coffee tastes good. And I like this, look at this guys, with the lock right here. Beautiful, this is the doorway, right? Got Wi-Fi over there. Yeah, I'm here, from back in the day, right? <laughs> and back here, very cool. Obviously they have air conditioning on, but still, it's like a different feeling, you know? They have air conditioning on, but also the doors are open, so. The this breeze. Like, this helps keep the, mud, the cold inside. The mud it helps with the cold. Now let's go to the kitchen. Boom. We're now in the kitchen. We're gonna see how they make the mishkak and we're gonna see them plating our basically our breakfast tally or breakfast platter, right? Absolutely. So we're gonna have a bit of breakfast, a bit of brunch. It's gonna be delicious. They're starting off with the skewers. They're gonna put it on the sticks and then right on top of the coal. So we're getting two mishkaks, so two skewers, chicken and beef. The beef is like beef fat, beef fat. And they also mixed it with like Omani spices, which is like a mix of salt, pepper, and Indian spices. Then we get, we got tamarind over there. We got some cardamom, some uh, turmeric for sure. So it's not beef, it is lamb. Even better. A lot better. <laughs> now he's serving up the whole breakfast platter, right? So a little bit of everything. So we have chickpeas, we have fava beans, we have feta cheese with za'atar out of thyme. Uh, you also have olive oil, and then you have cucumbers and some sour cream. Pool. Pool? Yeah. I have no idea what pool is. Looks like more beans, right? Bacchus. So that's kidney beans, my friends. Kidney beans, fava beans, and chickpeas. Next up, we have dal, yellow lentils. These scrambled eggs with vegetables. And what's it called? Shakshuka. Shakshuka. Everything looks delicious. Everything does. And lastly, we got the bread. That is gonna be amazing. My friends, I'm excited. It all looks great. All right, let's sit down. You ready for the food? I'm ready. This is Dukana meal, sir. So this is Kalya Omani fried meat, mishkat meat, mishkat chicken, and with onion, tomato, <laughs> and this tamari, uh, honey, and and this is Dukana breakfast, sir. This one it comes with the shakshuka, full, pasulya, 
Dal, dango, cucumber and olives, feta cheese with salter, fresh cream with honey, and bread. Is this plate? Uh, this is sweet, sir, and kurus with date honey. So rice and basically wheat pancakes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, that one is kurus. I had no idea we're getting all this. This looks amazing. So we have two giant platters plus the rice and the pancakes. So that's all sweets. Yes. That's dessert over there. Yes. Yeah. This is sweet, yeah. That's dessert. That's not rice, though. That's not rice? Yeah, it's like... That's noodles. Small noodles. Yeah. Small noodles, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it looked very long. Yeah, so I thought it, it looks like very almost... similar to rice, but yeah. it's not. And the other one is kuros. It's like a mini pancakes, and we usually have it with the date honey, date syrup. Perfect. I mean, it all looks fantastic. How do we start? By digging in. <laughs> and one more, sir. One more. Oh. Yeah. This is kabisa, flour dessert. Let's, let's, let's try a bit of everything. How about that? Let's go. Let's go. All right. So you got to choose the bread. I'm going for the Omani bread. The Omani bread. Paper thin wheat bread. Yeah. We saw how it was made the other day at Rosnan. So basically they just put it on a little pan. You can see through. I know. Like, look at that. Paper thin. I love it. And you just go in and grab something, right? Yep. So I'm going to start with the eggs. The eggs. Use a fork, obviously, to try to get as much as possible in there. Like a little pocket, right? A little taco? Yeah. This food's amazing. Sell. This food's amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like with, with vegetable. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like it. I love it. It feels very Mediterranean right here. Yeah, it is. It right? is, actually, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Between the chickpeas Next. and the fava beans. Yeah, we do that. Kidney beans, Kidney huh? Kidney beans first. I love kidney beans. Man, nice, so brown, hearty, earthy, you know? Just, oh, pack it on there. Dude, look how much you gave me. <laughs> gave me full fast. Let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. This is my favorite. Mm hmm. Me too. How do you like that? It's brown as beans. Always very meaty. Yep. Filling. There's a lot of oil, oil in there. Mm hmm. Well. Exactly. My man's throwing on green shoes like Salt Bay. Mmm! <laughs> with the kidney beans? It's really good. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Wow. Love it with the chili. Kidney beans are amazing. I love it. It's like a nice thick gravy, you yeah. know? Yeah. And I feel like the chickpeas could just go in and grab a few, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love chickpeas. Chickpeas, Middle East, you know, Southern Europe, all the way down to India, it's king. And man, this chili is... Spicy, right? Uh, spicy. Potent. <coughs> Not spicy enough. Oh. I tried some oh. <laughs> It is. <laughs> Need some of this. Mm-hmm. I'll do that now. Mm -hmm. That's a sour cream. But no, that's cream. Just, just cream. cream, just cream. Cream and honey. Cream and honey. Mmm. Sweet. <coughs> Love it. The honey's amazing. Very cold, and then you add the beautiful honey. It gives that sweetness. Omani honey. A winner. Good stuff, right? Mm -hmm. It reminds me like almost like yogurt. Well, like, <clears throat> there is no sourness to it. Exactly. Yeah. No sour. It's not bitter at all. Yeah. It's actually pretty light and smooth and sweet. Mm -hmm. I like it. I mean, the honey. Incredible. And then we're missing the dog, and yeah. also the other beans, the fava beans, right? Yeah, let's do that. So always with this bread, right? Yep. I like this bread, but like a little bit heavy. This goes really well with the dal and the, the chapati. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Water. Thank you so, thank much. You so much. <laughs> so we we'll get some of this with the garnishing. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. I'm personally a big bean guy. Beans all day, every day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Veg, man. Yeah, man. Straight veg. There you go. Bam. Mmm. Sweet beans. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the beans I used to have growing up. My mom was born in Venezuela. We have this a lot. Yeah? Mm. Mm -hmm. Man, I like them. Yeah. We're the opposite. Um, we have kidney beans a lot more. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I guess this part of the world is more kidney beans, right? Yep. Well, that was great. So the next one, we grab this bread. Beautiful chapati, right? Yes, that goes really well with the dal. With dal, 
Mm -hmm. this, is, this doll reminds me of dolls all over India. Obviously, big influence as well. She's going to like this, right? Yep. I'm gonna throw some chilies in there. Please throw chilies in here. Chili bay in action. Chili bay. Look at that. <laughs> nice. I try to get as much doll as possible. Yes. Give some of these chilies. Oh, oh more. <laughs> Good luck. So it's gonna be like a light yellow doll, right? Yep. Yeah, not too thick. It's perfect. Let's go. Mm. Mm hmm. Amazing the chili, right? Yeah. Man, I love the chili. Like, oh. it makes everything taste a lot better. You know, for me, the chili is the number one thing. It if I makes if, me cry. Makes me cry, but it makes me feel so good. And it's good for your health, you know? That is very true. You know, some people hate chilies. I love it. No, oh, man, chilies are good. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. I'm losing all chilies here. Oh. More chilies. <laughs> more chilies, of course. We need more. Mm. Well, and now I'm just gonna go in here and grab more of these. But I think we're still missing the, the feta. Yeah, we're not gonna try that. So how do we do the feta? So the feta is a bit strong in taste. Mm -hmm. The light bread is not gonna work fine with it. Like all you're gonna taste is feta. So I'll do it with the chapati. Just grab a little bit, put it in the chapati. That's it. Nice. It's better. Good, yeah, I like how you guys added the za'atar. So I was recently in Lebanon, za'atar is king there. You know, wild thyme, basically. It's a mix of thyme, thyme and a few different spices. Exactly, that's what I was gonna say. Like, feta is nice, but like you add the contrast of the za'atar and the olive oil, mm -hmm. makes it 10 times better. Mm. Dude, if you're not gonna have this block, I will. This block right here. Enjoy. How creamy it is. It's not as salty as the feta cheese you're gonna find in Greece, right? Best thing to do is just go like that, right? We get a beautiful little taco. This for the win. The za'atar, phenomenal. Za'atar is really nice, man. I love, I love it. it. I love it too. You should try it with labna. With labna. Yeah, labna za'atar and like a little bit of chilies. Exactly. A little bit of pomegranate. It comes really nice. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's spicy. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have an olive. Very meaty olive. Mmm. Burst out. Burst out? Mm -hmm. Is it pickled olives or just olives? Regular olive. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, we have chicken, we have lamb and beef, right? Yep, Things exactly. Already. Chicken, lamb, and beef. Okay, so just try the. I'm gonna go for the lamb first before yeah, it gets. Of course. Yeah. And then we have this um, sauce. Different sauces, Tamarind right? Sauce. Uh huh. Tamarind sauce. Mm. Amazing. I love lamb. Lamb over beef every day of the week. 100%. So good. Mm hmm. The sauce, the tamarind sauce is really good. Mm. It's amazing. It's a little sweet, a little cold. It's perfect. And now with chicken. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Smokiness with the charcoal. Wow, nice and charred. I'm trying to play catch up here. Catch up? Don't <laughs> worry, man. No, I'm just getting to the chicken. Mmm. It's sure to be. It's perfect. Oh, and here we have a nice piece of fat. Oh, Everything wow. with this. Mmm. My gosh. That flavor. Was it strong? Dude. Intense? Like amazing. Can we try the paleo without the sauce first? Okay. Just straight? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm gonna try this one. Honey. Oh, honey. I didn't even know it was honey. <laughs> I thought it was another type of honey. Mmm. Combination. It's like earthy and gamey. Nice and tender. Mixed with the sweetness of the honey. Dude, that's amazing. The honey, great touch. Seriously though. Yeah, that's right. It's good. I've never had kebabs with that. Really? Like the first time? Shish kebabs with, um, oh, with honey? Like a lot of people do this aliyah, the beef. Mm -hmm. and even the shawa, they put honey on it. Oh, wow. Just really good, it gives you a good contrast. Yeah, yeah, amazing contrast. Nice and sticky too. All right guys, no more meat. Let's jump on to sweet. Wow. 
right? There's gonna be a lot of sweet for us to cover. A sweet, yeah, I mean, we have two <laughs> things plus that one, right? It's almost like a rice pudding over there. So I think what we should do here is just like literally just grab one of these, dip it in. Literally. And this is a uh, date syrup, right? Yep. Like that. That's how it's done. Mm-hmm, mm. Small wheat pancakes. You wanna try it with honey? With honey as well. Yeah, yeah, we can try the honey, right? They literally just drench it. Ooh, like that. Little pockets. Mm-hmm. It's good with honey, right? I like honey better. That's enough wheat pancakes. Next one. Next one, the noodles. Noodles. So it's where we are. Okay. And uh, it's cooked with sugar and a little bit of milk. Um, the noodles is fried a little bit and it gives it the brown color. And then uh, it's stabbed off with some almonds. It tastes good. I like it. I love it. It's not too heavy. All right, my turn to try the noodles. So just like that plain, right? Yeah, literally. Just pick it up. Just pick it up. Try it. Wow, almost like vermicelli noodles. Ready for the surprise. Mm-hmm. Super sweet. Cardamom? Cardamom, a lot of cardamom. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You put cardamom everywhere. 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 I mean, for me, cardamom is the ultimate spice. Like, in everything. It's, it's got a nice fragrance, so it's like... Mm -hmm. It tastes good, it smells good. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. One last one. Oh, the habisa. Habisa. So where's the habisa? So it's, um, it's still wheat, kind of. It's like a rice pudding. Roasted, yeah. It's a wheat pudding. Yeah, with milk, sugar. Oh, it's thick. It's very thick. It's oily. Dude, look at this. <laughs> you got like a tiny piece. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. Not too sweet. No. Just right, and you have a, what is it, pistachio on top. Man, you know what is gonna make it really good? You're gonna add coffee on the side? With this sweet, especially, I think we need coffee. Oh man, with the coffee. Oh yeah. Oh man, this cardamom coffee. Mm. The coffee in Oman, blowing me away. Nice like Arabic aroma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we're done. We still have another spot, Omani cuisine. Let's get going. Woo! So for me, what's gonna end this meal correctly is adding some chilies. Oh wow. Mmm, nice spice. Literally, clean my palate. Oh. <laughs> Dude, you're crazy. Don't do that. All right. Wow, that was amazing. What a great place. Dukana. Best place to have breakfast slash brunch here in Muscat. Let's continue. More Omani food. You good? I'm ready. Let's go. Last stop on this Omani food tour is Lab Kitchen, right? Lahab Kitchen. Lahab. Lahab. Which means fire. It means fire. Yes. Oh man. <laughs> so what are we eating here? Uh, I believe we will be targeting the rice uh, and carb ingredients. So rice and uh, lamb mostly. So this is a family restaurant. As you can see, the seating is traditional and you have modern. So you can sit right here in the middle, regular, you know, sitting on chairs right. or you can sit laying down, sitting down on the floor, right? Right, right, right. It's just a preference on how you want to eat and enjoy your meal. Right? Exactly. Authentic style on the ground, you know, I would say modern on the table. So we're going to do the ground. For sure, bro. We're for, we're for the authentic experience. Exactly. I love it. So you have like, it's almost like tents, right? So this side, you have a tents. On that side, it's a little more open. And you also have these that are completely open. We can just like literally post up if you want. Yeah. yeah. Take your shoes off. And just go here, right? Right, right, right. Like that. And then you just wait for your food, right? <laughs> you can wait for your food, yeah. It's like, hey, what's up? Yeah. You know, drink some tea, waiting for your food, or you can have some appetizers. It all depends on how you want to enjoy it. Salam alaikum. Salam, dear. How, How are you doing? Are you? Very good. Fine, and fine, thank you. Mashallah, it's the same to Mani, Yani. Mashallah. Yeah. You like it, right? Oh, yeah. I, I know, I know. <laughs> it's nice, right? <laughs> Very nice. So, and what are we doing? Uh, we're doing that, uh, especially uh, food in Oman, uh, meat gozi. All right, so we're going to the kitchen to see all these beautiful dishes. Whoa, huge, huge orders. Come, Salam. come. Let's do it. Salam alaikum. Salam, yeah. This is amazing. Habibi, thank you so much. No problem. What's up, guys? How are you doing? Is this a biryani? It looks like biryani. It's like... It's biryani. So what is it? That's Zorbian. Zorbian. Name is Zorbian. The rice was Zorbian. All right, so there's uh, one main difference is the, is the ingredients that used here is 
Arabic spices rather than uh, Indian masala or Indian spices, right? So the, it's called zurubian, and you can basically see it right there, layered up on the rice. Oh my gosh, the aroma coming out of there, so good. Whoa, oh, nice smart. spices. Oh, bell pepper. Yes. You have uh, so you have almonds. Yes. You have cashews. What else? This is onion. Yeah, this it's cooked in oil. It's basically crispy onions. They're all okay, onions. And then, right, look at this. So what do you put? That's lamb, right? Yes. Wow. You're closing it. Yeah, of course. All right, so this is a big order, huh? Yes. So this is basically to insulate the heat. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, this is all to go orders, right? He packs it up, covers it with aluminum foil, and then it's a ram wrap. Especially the blade. Okay. With pomegranates. Yes. Part of the design. For the design. First, you will see this is the raw material, raw ingredients that they will put. Cardamom, cloves, cinnamon, and the good rose, some onions, some, uh, what's it called this? The garlic. Garlic? Yeah. And then they put it all in this pot, right here on flames, with the lamb already inside. Okay. All right. And they start steaming it, you know, and cooking it for about 20 to 25 minutes. And after that, they will remove the bad uh, white foam that comes out of the lamb, right? And wherever they've done that, they will take it to the oven right there. And they will put the sauce on it. And then the, it will start cooking for 40 minutes. So how does it work? Very easy. He adds all those ingredients into that pot. He takes the you know raw lamb, puts it in there, boils it. Once he extracts all those toxins, he puts it on here, and then they add the sauce. Once they're done adding the sauce, then they move it into the oven. Yes. Uh, how long? How long does it put in the oven? Forty-five minutes. Forty-five minutes. Forty-five minutes. And then after that, they take it out. You know, they basically see what the orders are. Yes. They weigh it. They get the correct amount. Exactly. Then they put it on the plate. Exactly. All that with that amazing rice. Thank you. Oh, I'm excited. It was an amazing match. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome. I'm ready to eat. Oh, ready? I don't know if I can eat the whole plate. No, I'm waiting for this eating. Okay, Very okay. Nice. Very nice? Yes, exactly. Oh, I'm ready. This one is uh, the plate. Do you see the plate? This is our plate? Yes, the random. <laughs> Whoa. You're too much. I will start now. Okay. Yes. That rice, guys, this rice is unreal. The aroma coming out of there is heaven, heaven. Ooh, the steam. Yeah, so it shakes it just to even it out, right? Yes, the onions. So crispy onions. I, I bought some designing. Yeah, designer right Simon. here. Saffron. Yes, especially one today. Saffron Bay. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so next up we're getting the lamb. Beautiful, right out of the oven. Oh, I just tried it. You like it, this one? Oh, I love it. Let's go. Yep. Come, follow me. The owner is the man. He's too much. Him and his brother, beautiful people. Come. VIP treatment here. So we're going to the end. To number seven? Number six. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Chokran, chokran. Are you ready for this one? Oh, I've been ready. I'm all ready. <laughs> this is going to be epic. We're eating with the owner and his brother. We're having some lamb, some rice, and some mishka. Yes. And we also have the tamarind sauce. We have a few other sauces as well. This is the spicy sauce, by the way. That's the spicy sauce? Yeah, this is the spicy sauce, I believe. Let me smell it. Oh, yeah, you can smell the pepper right here. My gosh, my friends, I am excited. This is yours. This is mine. Woo, how do we do this? Oh. We just dive in. Exactly. And you're on your knees. You guys are on your knees like that, huh? Okay, so we like this, huh? Give, give, uh, like him. Most, most Omani sit like him or like this. Like that? Yeah. yeah. So I, like I this? Better is comfortable. Better is comfortable. Yeah. I think this is great. Okay, so yeah. we just go in? Yes. Are we going? Yeah. Are we start? We start. Ready. Ready. Bismillah. Yalla. Bismillah. Bismillah. So I usually do a little thing. Okay, ready to go. Bismillah. Bismillah. Just grab. Yes. What do you see? You what tell you me. What do you think you did? Oh man, I don't what know. Do Th it? This fat right here. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, can I just have that? Yes. Say that. Oh my gosh. Is this like. Wow. What is this? A stomach? <laughs> no, no, no. This is, I think, a uh, shoulder. Mm. 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 I'm sorry I went before you, but. Wow. <laughs> it's okay. Man, it's like gelatin. Mm. Super, super tender. 
Ooh, and the sauce. Exactly. So amazing. And right here we have the rice, still super hot, right? You see that little mm -hmm. Amazing. Wow. Nice and tender. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Love how sticky the rice is, too. Exactly. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. The saffron. Mmm. So good. This one. Mm hmm. You can remove it. Okay. Pull the whole thing? Yes. So like that, mm. and just like let it, wow. <laughs> and just like the, the bone marrow, oh, wow. like that. Mm. I just do this. Wow. Oh, that was amazing. That was the best thing I've had all day. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Do I separate it to the side, right? Like that? That's especially one, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm. I love it. And the next one. Mm-hmm. Oh, another one. Yes. So like this? Well, oh, this one's a little harder. This one you just gotta like, yeah. just let it fall. Sorry guys, just have to do it this way. Ooh, it's still oh, so hot. Very good. This wow. bone marrow in there. Inside, Sorry, is this, is this mine? Can yeah, you yeah. Me, please? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, there it is, there it is. Make some umani. Mm. You got it like that, right? Exactly. Mm. Oh my gosh. This is heaven. <laughs> heaven. <laughs> oh, just, guys, let's start. Let's start. All right, all right. Yalla, yalla. This is great. Yeah, there's no other way to eat, right? You have to be like this kneeling because if you're sitting down, you're going to be bending your back way too much. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Mm hmm. Mm. 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 Crispy onions. Mm hmm. Also, the almonds. Mm hmm. It all mixes up really mm -hmm. good. Mm hmm. Oh my gosh. You know, I've had the best lamb dishes of my life on this trip. I thought Indian lamb was good. Mm. Uh, you're it's in so special. Peninsula, my mm -hmm. <coughs> mm. I love Arabia. Mm -hmm. Whenever we are four sitting on the on the plate, you know, the one that has the salad will go and put the salad for everybody, like this. And then, for example, the sauce, I'll be like, would you like? Yes. And he will say yes, Why then I'll put sauce. Would you like? Please. Yes. Do you like some, David? Yes, sir. All right. Perfect. Then everybody starts eating. Yeah, bismillah. Listen to this lamb. <gasps> now it's it's not too hot. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. perfect, right? Yeah. That one's a special one. It's, that one's special? Yes. I give it to you. Okay. This right here? Yes. What was that? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, a combination. So good. Yeah. Do it. Mm. Oh, yeah. With some lemon, huh? Mm -hmm. It gives a nice uh, taste to it. That's limey taste, but break the taste. You can't taste this one. It's a little spicy. Okay. Right. You like it spicy? Love it. So just like that? Yes. It's nice. Spicy. Extra sauce? Always. So, what's in this uh, spicy chutney? What's in it? Yes. Just chilies. Exactly. Chilies. Chilies. I have it. Lemon. Uh, grill uh, some uh, some marmismo. Okay. Garlic. 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 Yeah. Yes, and uh, something security. So basically everything that's hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, wow. big ball, wow. big ball. Mm. I love this. This is my favorite way to eat. You know, I'm like the king of biryani, man. <laughs> Just get a little bit of the meat. Throw that in there. Yes. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. 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 Pour it everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Anyway, what I like about this is that we're even though we're eating from the same plate, we're all eating our own sections. Exactly. Yes. So even if the rice falls, it falls in your spot. And, and you dig towards the middle. Yeah, you dig towards it. slowly that way, not towards yeah. the sides, and right? When you when you reach the middle, خلاص, you are, you are, you will stop. go. Yeah, you will stop. Even if you are not full or like this, but this is the culture. You don't go to anybody else's territory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. You know, their tradition is to start at the beginning, make your way all the way to the center. The center stays hot even an hour after we ate or after we started, right? Yes, exactly. I mean, this is this is for at least six more people because I, I don't even know how you guys are eating this. <laughs> Still not eating more now. Oh, no, I'm do, you see, do you see the place? Oh. <laughs> this cost is normally around uh, 25 real. 25 real? Yes. 25 real right now is like $70, almost $70. Approximately. 70 US. 
Yeah, I mean, it's huge, it's lamb, best quality, probably the best dish in Muscat right here. The last one. The last one, Mishkak. Mishkak. Ooh, and this is lamb, right? Yes. So lamb skewers, Exa and then we'll exactly. We grab the tamarind sauce. Yes. Sip like, it right here. What like that? Oh, you do like that? Yes. Okay, well, I just I'll do it like this. <laughs> so good. The tamarind. Mm-hmm. Yes. Just rip it off. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Even though it's a little cold at this point, yes. it's still freaking delicious. Mm. How is it? Fantastic. Another tamarind chutney. Mm. Mm. Oh, you know what? One more. All right. You complete this one. Complete it? Yeah, of course. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you know they say, there's always more room. Mm. One more. No. One more. No. All right, lastly, we're gonna have some tea, some red tea. Last one, cinnamon tea, red tea, okay? Especially for the customer. Mmm, nice and tasty. Hey, thank you so thank much, you. thank welcome. you, thank welcome. you. Welcome. Today was an amazing Omani food tour. My friend over here, how you doing? You good, you good? He was in the background the whole time, but it was all good. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we had, went to three spots today. I had sandwiches, uh, jelly and cheese. Jelly then and I cheese. went to the Dukana, Dukana yes. amazing, like breakfast brunch spot. And then we came here to La Hab Kitchen, Lahab so kitchen. fire kitchen. Yes. Amazing. Fire, fire, fire. And that's it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my okay. channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure somewhere in Oman, maybe the desert. Wow. 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 Maybe some camel. Wow. Nice. I, <laughs> I like love it. this guy, I dude. Like, I like it, the milk. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, dude, you got me with Zanzibar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go eat. This tamarind juice. Yeah. Yeah. What are these? So they also have sweet yeah, cakes here. Kunafa. Oh, it's kunafa. Yeah. Oh, wow, beautiful. Formal, uh, Halim, yeah, yeah. Milk. Sweet milk, not uh, cheese. Chori, chicken samosa. A spring roll, falafel. Yes. So obviously Zanzibar, huge influence from India, Middle East. So we have a big mix here. And this is all the fried stuff. Chicken bowl. This is just fried. Cheese inside. Coconut chutney, Zanzibar style. Yeah. And this is biryani sauce. Okay. And this is biryani rice. Pulao. Pulao. Fish in coconut sauce. Fish in coconut sauce. Yes. The tamarind juice. Oh, Zanzibar names the ukwaju. Wow. Look at that feast. This is Zanzibar cuisine in Muscat. Yes. Are you ready? Extremely ready. I mean, I am so excited, man. This is amazing. Wow, everything looks so good. Got a lot of fried, got a lot of sweet, got that coconut, coconut chutney, and everything we have to eat with hands, right? Yep. Okay, so I think we should try with the fried stuff first, Let's right? Do that. Cutlet. Yes, chicken cutlet. chicken cutlet. So the best thing to do is break it up, right? Dip it in the sauce. Dip it in the coconut, right? Mm-hmm, coconut chutney. Let's dig in. Mm. Mm. Nice and mushy, lightly crisp, you know, not too much fried, but this makes it. Yep. The sweetness of the coconut chutney. That's pure, that's pure grated coconut chutney. Mm. The chutney adds some sweetness though. It does, it does. Try it without the chutney. It without chutney. Mm hmm. Like some spices in there. Mm hmm. Very it's tasty. Good. Very tasty, very, very tasty. tasty. I mean, this is an easy. Skin, potatoes. Mm -hmm. Chilies. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. But to be honest with you, way better with the chutney, right? I drink coconut chutney. <laughs> like I, I'll like be reeking of it. It's got some spice mm -hmm. to it though. Mm -hmm. Chilies make it. Real coconut chutney has chili. You know? Wow, so many different cutlets. So we have to try the kachori, right? The kachori, yep. Mm -hmm. I like to try like things first without the well, sauce. chutney, just so that. You know, I get the actual taste of it, mm -hmm. and then see how much chutney I need to put in it. To exactly. Flavor. And this one's just potatoes. Mmm. Mm. Fried mashed potatoes kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. So it's mashed potatoes, a little crispy on the outside, nice and soft in the middle. So tasty. So tasty. So tasty. <laughs> this is going to be great. No. You have to. That's a dish for you. Dude, no. this is the dish of dishes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Nice. That was great. I'm very inclined to try the fish one. Yeah, the fish one's gonna be awesome. So it's like a fish croquette, yep. basically, right? And you break it in half. All right, I'm just gonna try it with the chutney. I have to. I'll do it without. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. This is salty. It's definitely fish. Mm hmm. Fishy, mm. but very nice. Mm -hmm. This is beef cutlet. So for the beef cutlet, let's break it in half. So you really can't tell the difference between the fish and the beef, right? Yep, but let's, let's see the difference in taste. Oh, I like this a lot mm -hmm. better. Me too. Yeah, it's not fishy. It's not fishy. It's not salty. It, it almost it can't even... taste like the ocean. No, at all. <laughs> the seawater, right? Oh, it's tasty. I like it a lot better. Oh, it's very nice. I think I'm gonna try this chicken spring roll. Let's dive in. Oh, oh yeah. Good. This is just like, like a Chinese spring roll in a way. Yeah. Very similar, right? Nice and flaky, crispy. Inside you have, uh, I think it's like cabbage. You have some carrots. Carrots, cabbage, yeah. I'm gonna get some of this too. I think the coconut aspect really changes everything here. Mmm. 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 Way too fried. Yeah. Nice and crispy. Almost like like paperish, no? Nice yeah, flaky. Kinda. Well you can taste the oil though. So it's cheese bread, right? Yep. It looks delicious. It looks delicious. It's very sticky. It feels like the syrup and honey all over it. Yeah. Just break it off like that. Here, grab yep. a piece. Like that. <laughs> there you go. It's basically just a bun, right? Mmm. Like, like nice and creamy inside. It's like creamy, cheesy, and sweet at the same time. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it too. You know what I love about it? All the textures here. 
so different, that right? That is true. That is. Even true. though everything's fried, like the spring roll is like flaky. These are like some nice and mushy. The kachori is lightly fried, you know? Flip that fried fish. I think we're gonna jump into one of these, right? Maybe the sweet plantain? It's like drenched in coconut sauce. <laughs> Mm. Mm. There's mm. a lot of cinnamon in there. A lot of cinnamon. Mm. Very sweet. Mmm. Super mushy. Nice and soft. Wow. It, it definitely, it's got a hint of banana, but mm -hmm. it does not taste like banana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when that cinnamon also gives it that like pungent sweetness, you know? Like, yeah. That yeah, was good, it was good. Wow, biryani next. And these are like, the biryani and the pulao are with no fish, no chicken. In terms of what's the difference between the pulao and the biryani, this one has more, um, you know, saffron in here. There's some spices. This one just has uh, caramelized onions, right? That's the difference here? Yep. Yeah, so I guess I'll just jump on a little bit of this. Zans up our food, huh? Yeah. Mmm. <clears throat> mmm. Mm. Those crispy onions. Yeah, man, and like it's flavorful. Mm -hmm. So much flavor. It's not just rice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what a I like about this. A lot of cumin in there as well. Cumin. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Yeah, cumin seeds throughout, right? Man, that's gonna taste super nice with the fish. Yeah, I think with the fish and maybe with some of that gravy would be great. I think we should just try a little bit of that biryani, right? Just like that. Mm hmm. Mmm. This is like the lightest spiced biryani I've had. Yeah, it's like. No biryani flavor almost, like mm -hmm. get a hint of biryani, it's mm. not really biryani. No. Nah. So this was actually for the biryani. Mm -hmm. That's tasty. Mm -hmm. mm. Now the biryani is real, right? Yeah, um, not many flavors competing with each other. No, it's good, it's good, it's, good. it's just the gravy, right? The yep. chicken, nice, hearty, meaty chicken. So next up, we'll try the fried fish. Just gotta go in here, break up. So yeah, get right on the spine, right there. See the spine right here? Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's a very meaty fish. Yeah. Mmm. Chewy. Very tasty. Tasty, mm -hmm. yeah. Mmm. I think this would probably go great. Just get some of that shiny. You know? Maybe it covers up some of that. That C, you know? Try it with the rice. I think it's gonna go really well with the pilau rice. Mm hmm. Mm. A little saltier, huh? Yep. But lots of little bones here. It's okay. <laughs> you know how much I hate bones? I hate bones. Mm hmm. Mm. Way better with the rice, but definitely coconut chutney. And I think we should try this, right? So it's tamarind juice, right? So refreshing. Really? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Yeah, it's good, it's good. You know what guys, I need to try a little more of that pulao with the sweet plantain and that gravy, coconut cinnamon. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's amazing. That is the true flavors of Zanzibar. I haven't been, but now I know what it tastes like. Zanzibar street food over here, we have more of the cooked dishes. You know, again, the chicken with the gravy, with the biryani, the pulao. The best thing was the sweet plantain with coconut and cinnamon, and you have the fish. The fish is very fishy, very meaty. Definitely mix it with the coconut. 100%. Overall, enjoyable experience. Enjoyable. We still have another Zanzibar spot. Yeah. I personally love tamarind. It's like a nice, tangy pulp. Great palate cleanser. All right, let's go. So our friend Ali here makes two different pickles, right? So this one is a chili one? Chili one. Oh. And this one's mango. Yeah, it's mango. Mango and chili combined. I mean, they both have chilies, it's right? Chili with tomato combined. Woo! <laughs> right here, chili acha, and this is a mango acha, right? The price is one real, 200, roughly like $3 for this one. I'm taking it, my man, and I'm taking it. Yeah. <laughs> I have to. So I can try spicy chili chutney Zanzibar style in Miami. Yep. All right. Man, it was just six bucks for everything we ate. Thank next you. time you're in Muscat, you gotta come here to outer space. Thank you. Yeah. See you next time. Shukran. Thankfully, we have a mini break right now, like yeah. a two-hour break before the next restaurant. Like a prayer break, man. Uh, we're going to another uh, restaurant that's uh, influenced by Zanzibar. 
So we're gonna have a lot of Zanzibar food. Kilimanjaro Cafe. Again, Zanzibar is part of Tanzania. Mount Kilimanjaro right here. Hello. Hello. How, how are you? Are you? Everything David. good? Yeah. How are Pleasure. you? Pleasure. Nice to meet you. How's it going, man? Good. How are good. you? Good. good. Mount Kilimanjaro. You know, I haven't been to Tanzania yet. Oh. One day soon. One day soon. Look at this beautiful Kilimanjaro. The elephants, giraffe. I love this. So it's a cafe. Beautiful setting. You also have some of the, the tribes there with the, I forgot the name of the tribe. Haven't been, so I don't know. The Maasai tribe, yeah, yeah the tall tribe. ones, the yes, tall guys. Yes. <laughs> All right guys, we are going into the kitchen now. We're gonna see how they cook some of this amazing Zanzibar food. Wow, what do we have here? The octopus already? Look at this yeah. octopus. It's already on the grill. Already? Nice aroma. So what do you guys put on this? Just very simple, right? Almost yeah. no spices yeah. here? Yeah, yeah, simple. Just uh, a little bit of spicy sauce, uh, salt and black pepper. That's it. Over here we have a uh, famous, uh, this is plant or herbs, we call it mchicha. Mm -hmm. it's, called, uh, it's cooked with uh, coconut milk and uh, we have some carrots, onions. It's uh, very, very famous and known in uh, Zanzibar. Zanzibar. So basically dark greens, really like hearty greens, right? Yes. So this is the, the other type of spinach that I This one is called uh, kisambu. We add coconut, we add a little bit of uh, carrots to that, and you will taste the difference of coconut. It's really amazing. This is uh, well known in Zanzibar and Africa as uh, nyama choma. It's uh, cooked in, uh, in the charcoal, it's slow cooked. So it's very delicious. Not similar to the chops we are used to, to get in the uh, random uh, grilled uh, restaurant. Amazing, look at this. Man, so juicy and tender. I love the charcoal. That gives it an extra, the better way to grill, yeah, right? The taste of charcoal is uh, always different, man. So right here we have the massive lamb chop. Huge, look at this. No, I'll just pick it up, man. Like that. Huge, right? We're gonna eat this and we're gonna eat this. Same as I think chopped up. Can I just try it? Is it okay? Is it a piece? Mm-hmm. How is it? Mmm. Nice and tender, smoky. Mm-hmm. Nice spices, very light. I will have another piece. Yeah, it's still good. Lady fingers and pieces of shark. Yes, sir, you heard me, you heard me right. With coconut. With coconut, of course. Everything you see here in uh, this uh, Zanzibar kitchen, it was coconut. So this one will be served with uh, ugali. Ugali is uh, corn flour. The mixture of that uh, corn flour with water and uh, we add some uh, hint of salt and that's it. Once we eat this, we combine this with the roast of uh, papa, which is the shark, mm -hmm. and uh, a bit of uh, mchicha, which is the spinach. Chokran, chokran, chokran. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. So after 20 minutes in the kitchen, I built up an appetite and I'm ready to eat some Zanzibar cuisine. Oh, right here. So what do you have now? So we have the ugali, mm -hmm. so the white one, the corn flour is the ugali with the spinach, this one is kisambu. Amazing. With the shark, with the vegetables there. So yeah. With the lady fingers, right? Yes. The lady fingers is basically okra. So you have just basmati rice, uh, it's like corn flour. And then this is a very hearty greens. The grilled octopus, and then also french fries. And we have a few sauces. And here we got the meat. Look at that, beautiful lamb. Yeah, mm -hmm. the nyama choma. Yep. This looks phenomenal. How do we start? I would like to go here first, man. Let's do it. Yeah. I'm gonna grab right from here, you know, finger food, right? Yes, sir. Grilled octopus. Mm-hmm. Mmm. The charcoal. Amazing, man. Smoky and tender. One of my favorite things ever is grilled octopus. I'll be honest with you, this is the best seller here. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, it's healthy, right? Yeah, it's healthy, yeah. You're not doing it strong with the... My favorite okra. is like the end, the tentacle, this part, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. A little char at the end. Mm. Oh, kind wow. Chewy mm -hmm. with the charcoal uh, flavor, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is smoky. Use yeah, any of these sauce? Yeah, let's add some sauce, man. I am a spicy king. I'll go spice. I'm all about the spice, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm. Amazing, man. Amazing. Mm. Nice chilies. Did you, did you like uh, get the flavor of mango? Yes. Yeah. So it's There's almost like mango. A, a mango chili chutney. Yeah. That's what it feels like. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You got it right. Mm-hmm. My favorite dish. Yeah. I know it's gonna be my favorite. <laughs> you, mean, Even you we didn't start the meat now? Huh? I know, but this meat yeah. looks so good. Just grab pieces, right? Oh so, yeah. You can go directly to the to the meat itself. Mm-hmm. Or uh, grab a piece of uh, chapati, the bread. Yeah, I think we gonna try it like this because you do have bones, right? Yeah. Let's try it. Uh, like this. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Fantastic. Mmm. Yeah. I think that charcoal 
grill. Makes a difference, yeah? Mm-hmm. This is tamarind, right? Let's go to the tamarind, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's a little sweeter, mm. right? A little more pungent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How is it? <laughs> it's good. The tamarind now? Some bones, but... You know what? I'll do both tamarind and chili. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. Tamarind. tamarind first. Go to the chili sauce. Oh, it's chili sauce. Yes. It is the way. Mm hmm That was one amazing bite. Amazing I mean, bite. so many good flavors here, right? All the flavors is fighting inside your mouth. The That's like Zanzibar. Yeah. That's Zanzibar in your mouth. <laughs> but I think, you know what? Let's, let's move on to this, because I have to try some of these greens, right? The okay. greens so, yeah. with coconut. Uh -huh. The so, corn flour. Okay. So, yeah, the, take a portion of that. Mix it with the roast, as okay. we did, the, with the shark and uh, lady fingers there. So just soak it, right? Yeah. Mm hmm So I guess you are feeling the coconut flavor there. Coconut flavor. So, yeah. Oh, so I missed it. Okay, yeah. so I'll get so, some yeah. more. Now you, are, you should do it the right way. So get some of this you and then get some of this. And get some of that. And now, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> mm hmm Mm. It was amazing. Okay. I've never had spinach with coconut before. Oh, alone. Alone you can. Mm. <laughs> yeah. This is the most phenomenal spinach I've ever had yeah. in my life. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. So you should try the other one as well. Wow. So I'm like blown away. <laughs> going back, this is Kisambu. So same thing here, right? Same thing, yeah. You can eat it by itself or you can mix it with the ugali. Up to you. This is umchicha. Umchicha, yeah. Okay, so it's more moist. More moist. You have, again, yeah. the coconut carrots, it. coconut, Indeed. and then onions. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Mm hmm It's okay. nice. Way more watery, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's make the difference between this and that one. This is better. Yeah. <laughs> this is like... It's obvious, yeah, now you are... It's eating. heaven. Yeah. And you know what? I didn't even try the shark. Oh, go ahead. It's It'll a be a bit uh, chewy. Since bit it's chewy? dried, yeah. Mm-hmm. So dried. Obviously very dense. Very compact, right? Yeah. The gravy here is outstanding. This is the best greens, but number one, has to be the octopus. Oh, octopus. We should go back here, man. Oh, yeah. Like that. Just dip it, right, with the chili. Mm hmm Lemon on top. Go ahead. Mm. Yeah. I cannot wait and uh, Dude. do this. Can't leave any of this food. Mm hmm Easy. Wow. Wow. Coconut for the win. Bro, thank you so much. All right, man. Appreciate it. Love this restaurant. Yeah. Wow. Kilimanjaro in Muscat. Yes, in Boucher, Muscat. All right, so for dessert, I'm having a juice. Authentic Zanzibar juice. Now, what is that? You should try this passion fruit juice. It's a special from Zanzibar. Using the passion fruit with a little bit of sugar and a little bit of lemon. You guys know I'm from Miami. I'm all about that tropical fruits. Those tropical fruits are the best passion fruit. Oh. How is it? Yes, Wow. So cold. Mm, a little sour, you know? Yeah. A little tangy. Oh, but it's amazing. Oh, you put lemon in here as well? Yes, yeah. Lemon? Yeah. You know, I don't need sweets for dessert. I just need this to clean the system, cleanse the palate. Oh, put me right down to bed. So we have dunes in front of us. We have people going on ATVs nonstop all over and the sun is setting. So you have this beautiful sunset with the dunes. It feels like you're in the middle of nowhere being here and you're in the city. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's in Boshar, Muscat. So we are in the middle of the city and we have these dunes in front of us. So yeah, it's kind of representing our name, Kilimanjaro. All right, guys, that is it. Zanzibar cuisine here in Muscat, Oman. Incredible, diverse flavors from Africa. So good. My oh, man, thank you so thank much. Thank you for coming, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. We went to two spots, Outer Space and Kilimanjaro Cafe and Restaurant. Very unique spots, both specializing in Zanzibar cuisine. So what is that made up? You, know, you got street food, a lot of fried stuff. You have a lot of spinach, a lot of fish. You also have octopus, you have meats, but everything has coconut. Coconut is the key ingredient in Zanzibar cuisine. You are right? Wow, incredible. Guys, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Muscat, Oman. Yeah.